Sige. All right. So we're going to start this um, webinar. It's currently 8.05, if I'm not mistaken. Sige. So guys, I'm uh, not sure kung kamusta ang internet connection. This is the first time na gagawin natin tong Facebook Live um, with the Zoom. So, so technically, we're trying to do our best to reach a lot of people. And this is one of the best ways that we know how as of the moment. Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon, please prepare your questions. Actually, pwede niyo siyang i-comment na. Or kung gusto niyo, mamaya na lang para makita natin kaagad. Um, so, yeah, just prepare your questions. So, just to set the expectations, what's gonna happen is... Uh, this is this is in, in collaboration with eToro, as you can see. Claro, masyado yung background ni Jeff, no? Na color green with the eToro thing. So that's that's their business. Uh, he is the business development officer or associate of eToro. So just to give you a little background, nagkita kami dati sa Icon Investment Conference last November 30, 2019. And dun kami nag-usap as to how we can collaborate. Therefore, meron tayong ganito ngayon. And maybe some of you guys already created an account sa practice live account through our link, which is good. Ang tanong ngayon is some of us don't even know how to use it. That's the reason we're also doing this, this uh, Facebook Live, this webinar. So, ang good thing rin is this is also like Ma-record siya. So kung sakali, pangit talaga yung internet connection natin, uh, you can just watch it later din. No? Mamaya. Sige. So, let's do this. Currently have 99 people who are joining us right now. So thank you so, thank you so much for joining us. You can share this to your friends para, you know, makalearn tayo, maximize natin yung time. Yes, okay. thank you very much for joining us here on a Friday Friday night especially. So go ahead, John. Friday night. Let's start. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jan, as you already, you probably know. And some of you guys actually, ang tawag niyo sa akin is Sir the Present. <laughs> which, is, which is normal because that's, that's like... <laughs> That's the that's the name. That's an entity that we have. It's actually a business, and uh, I'm just the host of of the present, no, and the founder as well. So thank you so much for for watching our videos constantly. We produce content every Wednesday and Sunday. Okay. So now, uh, probably you don't know kung ano yung ano natin, ano ano yung mga background ko in general. So I'm just going to give you an idea as to what my background is. So ito yun. Okay, so um, just to explain it, I'm currently 26 years old. Moral akong tiguang tanaw no sahay daw because of the ako ang hairline. Layo na paminawa ni. But yeah, so this is my experience so far at the age of 10 years old. I, Me and my brother, or my brother had a business. It's a cell phone accessories business. That time, wala pa yung iPhone. Hindi pa sikat yung mga Samsung. Ang sikat man nun was the Nokia cell phones. Like the 5110, 6110, all those old phones, right? And my, my brother had a business about selling cell phone accessories. Yung mga casings ng 5110, mga batteries, chargers, pouches, yun yung business, all right? And I was the one who was helping him out. And every time nandun siya sa Manila, since we're from Davao City, every time nandun siya sa Manila to deal with suppliers, I'm the one who's roaming around the city. Specifically, yung customers kasi namin is nasa Victoria Plaza and Gisano Mall, yung mga vendors doon. So at a very young age, I was privileged enough to somehow be exposed sa business world um, with my brother. So that's the very first encounter that I had in the business world, the cell phone accessories business, which nadala ko rin siya sa, sa school, yung magbenta sa school, yung mga chips, mga pogs, papers, pencils, mga blah, blah, blah. Yun. And um, unfortunately, business was not really doing well. So um, he had to sell all his inventory sa isang person for 150,000 pesos. 
kahit na lugi para lang mabawi yung pera. Bakit siya ganun? Dahil yung market kasi is very fast yung kanyang um, changes. So for example, ngayon na week meron tayong 3310 na cellphone ko naalala niyo yun. And then after 2 weeks or 3 weeks meron namang 3315. Then after 2 to 3 weeks meron namang 8210. Mga ganun ang mga changes. So mangyari yung mga old stocks obsolete na siya. Therefore, mahirap yung yung takbo ng inventory. Then I got myself into network marketing. Dito ako nahasa sa speaking, sa public speaking, business trainings and all. And then got my first employment um, in a digital agency here in Davao City. I was entrusted to handle the HR for four years and six months. So I was employed rin, just like most of us here. And then meron din tayo dito sa... Um, I got my employment with my uncle. Okay, technically, I pirate ko sa kung uncle no. Ang yung business is nasa importation, and nagabalig yak punsa o kanang feed ingredients sa baboy o sa manok. Mo na ang customers namo is nasa farm, eh mga farms and mga feed mills, mga backyard. Mo na mo na yung mga customers, and I was handling his operation, sales and logistics for two years and one month. So yun. So at the same time, ginawa ko rin yung the present on the side uh, as a part time, which eventually became my full time last November 30, 2019. Yeah, don't then kami nagkita ni Jeff, no? <laughs> sa investment conference. On that exact day, uh, on that exact day. Uh, the exact day, because November 29 yung last day ko sa sa work, and the last one, which is the the new business that we have right now, it's a very young digital agency. Um, so around five months old here in Davao City, and yeah. So that's that's the timeline of my life. If you notice, wala talaga siyang specific about finance or stocks or investments. But the good thing is when when you get exposed to business world, parang kasali na rin yung finance world at the same time, because the people that you're talking to, kay mga negosyante rin, so they also want to grow their money. So most of the things that I'm going to share to you guys is really coming from my personal experience as a customer. Kasi maganda talaga kung customer ka muna, di ba? Para ma-experience mo yung totoong thing. So yun. So at least you guys know kung ano yung um, background. But hindi naman talaga ito yung reason kung bakit kayo nandito. Ang totoo naman na reason is this. So ito yung pag-usapan ko. This is my part. Jeff is going to talk about a different thing, which is how to invest through eToro still, and meron tayong mga facts na i-discuss mamaya. So, ito yung objectives ko. Uh, number one is, I'm going to share to you guys why investing is very important. Investing in general, if you have extra money, you can invest in a lot of investment vehicles naman ngayon. Meron tayong real estate, you can be an investor of a business. Pero ang pinaka-common talaga na marinig natin sa YouTube, sa Google, at sa mga kaibigan natin, is itong tinatawag nating stock market. Okay? So, meron tayong local stock market, national stock market. Ito yung mga Jollibee, BDO, BPI, yung makita natin dito sa Pilipinas. But we also have international stock market. For example, Facebook, Apple, Google, um, which you need a broker to access those things. And eToro is one of those brokers. Alright? Uy! Watching from Hong Kong. Wow! So actually, nice. Jeff is also Welcome. in Hong Kong, right? I am also in Hong Kong. Uh, stuck in Hong Kong. <laughs> stuck in Hong Kong. So that's number one. Number two is, I'm going to share to you guys the rules of investing that I personally follow, that I want to impart sa inyo. Because kung nandito kayo sa Pilipinas, definitely maraming tayong na-experience na scams. So, kaya kailangan maintindihan natin kung ano ba talaga yung dapat nating tingnan when it comes to investing. Pangatlo is why international stocks? No? So why international stocks? So meron nam tayong local pero meron din tayong international stocks. So ito yung topic ko ngayon and we're gonna start with this one. So why invest? Sige. So just like you guys already know how I do videos which is very direct to the point. And it's going to be the same thing with this web webinar. So why invest? I'm going to share around two major things. 
kung bakit importante talaga sa atin mag-invest. And number one reason talaga is saving money is not enough. So, uulitin ko. Saving money is not enough. So, alam naman natin na saving is important. And sometimes, ang nangyayari is that save tayo ng save, pero ma-feel natin minsan na parang kulang pa rin yung na-save natin na pera. Dahil nga sa, you know, kumbaga tumataas yung bilihin natin. Alright? So saving is a good thing. It's actually one of the disciplines that we need to know if you want to be financially free. But it's not enough. Why is it not enough? It's because of this reason. The thing we call inflation. Okay, inflation. So you may hear it a lot in the finance world. But to simply put, what does it mean to be an inflation? It's basically the devaluation of currency. So, ibig sabihin, tumataas yung bilihin natin. The prices of the goods and services ay tumataas. So, that also means yung value ng pera natin ay bumababa. Okay? So, nag-gets nyo yun? So, the prices of goods tumataas. So, yung purchasing power ng pera natin ay bumababa. Okay? And this happens like every year. Actually, it happens every day, but Every year talaga natin siya ma-feel. And I'm gonna share to you kung taga-Davao ka, I'm sure you're familiar with this example. So itong tinatawag natin penongs. Uh, Di ba? Unlimited rice with uh, chicken barbecue. Yan. Dito sa penongs. So yun. Di ba? Mga, mga ganun na advertisement dito sa Davao. So, ang kalaban ng penongs is mang inasal, which hindi masyado ako like frequent customers ng Mang Inasal but sa Penong sa ko frequent customer and ang lagi kong ino-order doon is ang Inato 2. For short, ito yung I2. Oh, di ba? So ganito. Pagdating sa I2, uh, Inato 2, ito yung pricing nila ngayon. 2020, ito yung this is the, we are in the year 2020 which hindi talaga maganda yung year natin so far. A lot of bad things have happened, no? But, you know, kung na tayong magawa, ganun talaga. So, ang presyo ng Inato 2 ngayon is 112 pesos. If you're going to check ang menu ng Penongs, 112 pesos ang price ng Inato 2 ngayon. Pero looking back, 2012, that was 8 years ago, ang price ng Inato 2 is only 85 pesos. See? So try to imagine from 112 siya ngayon, 85 pesos siya 8 years ago, nag-increase na siya ng 27 pesos for the past 8 years. So pag lagyan natin siya ng percentage, ang nangyari is for the past 8 years, ang increase ng the same rice, the same chicken, the same store is 24%. Walang nagbago. Walang additional barbecue. Wala. It's still the same thing. Gets nyo? So, the price of the goods ay tumataas. Ibig sabihin, yung 100, yung 100 pesos mo noon, 8 years ago, may change ka pa na 15 pesos. Ngayon, kulang na to buy the same product na ino-offer ng Penos, which is yung inatok to. So, what does this mean? Ito yung very good example kung bakit tayo mag-invest. Kailangan talaga natin mag-learn mag oh, kung paano natin i-grow ating money kasi nga, ito yun. Ito yung reason. Tapos, alam naman natin na hindi masyado madalas ang pag-increase ng ating income, lalo na kapag ikaw ay empleyado. Kung sweldo mo before is 396 pesos per day, which is the minimum wage ngayon, Potentially, the next year, you're still going to earn 396 pesos per day. But inflation is still, ha is still happening. Okay? So that's, that's the reason why. And actually, just to give you an idea, ang average inflation rate talaga sa Pilipinas is on average ng 3.5% per year. So if you're going to divide 24% using this example, sa Divided by eight years, that's around three percent per year. All right. 
Tapos yung sweldo natin, minsan walang increase. So, tumataas yung presyo, walang increase sa sweldo, kaya siya saving is not enough. We need to find ways to grow our money. So, hopefully, um, this is a very, this is, this illustration is simple and hopefully na-understand niyo kung bakit talaga natin kailangan mag-invest. Alright? So, pagdating naman yan is, okay, naintindihan natin na, sir, alam ko na kung paano Bakit tayo mag-invest? Kaya nga ako nag-invest dun sa ano eh, yung mga 400% or mga 30% per month. Kaya nga ako nag-invest dun kasi alam ko may inflation. Wow, di ba? Tama sana yung reasoning mo pero mali yung paraan. <laughs> mali yung okay. pinasok. Ganito yan. Mali yung pinasok. Ganito yan. Um, if it's too good to be true, then it must be too good to be true. Ganun talaga yan eh. Okay, so etong ishare ko sa inyo is really more about yung rules na namention ko na to siya last year, May 2019. Kaya uulitin ko siya ngayon for the benefit of everybody. So tatlong rules of investing ang kailangan tin maintindihan. Number one is kailangan legal siya at saka regulated siya. So kasi alam naman natin pag illegal yon tapos nag nag invest ka don or ano then definitely you don't want to be part of it because it's a crime. So this is one of the challenges of most people. Alright? Ang nangyayari is gusto natin mag-invest ng pera kasi nakikita natin ano yung potential return. Pero hindi natin naintindihan kung ano yung process. So we have to understand the process kung bakit nagkakaroon ng increase or bakit ka may profit or bakit ka nalulugi sa investment mo. Alright? Which brings us to the second reason or second rule of investing is never invest in anything that you do not understand. So kahit na sabihin ng kaibigan mo na maganda mag-invest sa Apple ngayon, kahit na sabihin ng kaibigan mo na baba yung presyo ng Jollibee, tapos kaya maganda mag-invest ngayon, you also have to do your own research. Uh, you also have to do your own studying para, kumbaga, ikaw mismo, you are confident enough na the moment you decide on something, may reason ka, may logic ka behind it. Hindi lang kasi sabi niya eh. Kasi sabi niya eh. Kasi sabi niya. Yun yung nangyayari. Eh. ba? So, you also have to do your own research kung ano yun. Now, ganito yan. Tulad noon, gagamitin natin yung example noon. Yung 5,000 pesos natin magiging 20,000 pesos sa loob ng isang buwan. O, di ba? 5,000 magiging 20,000 for risk takers only. Yan. So, 400% times 4 yung pera. So, sir, legal naman siya kasi may papers. O, yan. Okay, congratulations. May papers. So, nag-invest ka ngayon. Bakit ka nag-invest? Kasi nakikita mo lang 5,000 magiging 20,000 sa loob ng isang buwan. Pag tinatanong ka ng kaibigan mo, paano yun nangyari? Eh, hindi ko alam eh. Sila na bahala nun. Basta times four daw. Ay, yun. Mahirap yun. Kasi you have to understand kung bakit niya. So, ang ginagamit na reasoning is forex, cryptocurrency. Pero alam naman talaga natin na it's really more of a Ponzi scheme. So, ibig, ibig sabihin ng Ponzi scheme, it's a redistribution of money. Alright? So, wala talaga siyang growth. Iniikot lang yung pera. So, kung sino yung una nag-invest, siya yung babayaran first. And then, maghanap naman, naman ng bagong investor para iikot lang yung pera. Ganon. Alright? So, kailangan natin maintindihan una kung ano ba yung sistema na pinapasok mo. So, that's the reason why we're also doing this webinar para kasi sa in Marami sa atin dito na hindi natin naiintindihan ano ba yung stock market. Or maybe you have heard about it but you don't even know what it is. Hence, this webinar also, right? So, yun. Never invest in anything that you don't understand. Now, sir, what if ganito? Legal siya, regulated siya. Check. Tapos, naintindihan ko kung bakit siya investment. Magandang investment siya. Congratulations. Check. Yung pangatlo naman is ganito. Only invest the money that you can afford to lose. So, ibig sabihin, wag po tayo mag-utang para mag-invest sa stock market. 
<laughs> okay? Ulitin ko, huwag po tayo mag-utang para i-invest sa stock market or sa forex or kahit ano. Kahit ano. Bakit? Kasi double na yung risk mo. So, na, may nag-utang ka na, you owe money to someone, sometimes with interest pa. Tapos you're gonna put it in a market that's very volatile. Na hindi natin alam kung aakyat ba yung price or baba ba yung price. So sometimes, uh, meron kasi kaming matanggap na message and hopefully, um, this is a lesson learned for everyone na let's say meron daw, 100, meron daw siyang 100,000 pesos sa kanyang bank account. Yun lang yung life savings niya. And since nakita niya yung video namin na it is a good time to invest in the stock market because nga for sale, quote and quote, for sale ang mga stocks ngayon kasi mura, no? undervalued siya. So is it a good idea na i-invest yung 100,000 pesos sa stock market lahat? Like literally lahat. Doon ko na aasahin yung retirement ko, yung stream of income ko. The answer to that is please do not do that. No, please, again, ulitin ko, please, wag mo yung gawin. Kasi, hindi nga natin alam kung anong mangyayari sa market. Potentially, yung 100,000 mo, pwede magiging 150,000. Pwede ba yun, sir? Yes. Pwede rin siyang 100,000 maging zero. <laughs> pwede rin ganun. So, or negative pa nga. So, so, pero sir, bakit ang ibang Chinese, tulad, for example, si Jeff, at saka ikaw, Chinese naman kayo, klaro naman sa mukha ninyo, at saka may mga kaibigan kaming mga Chinese people. Bakit sila nag, nagbabaro, nag, nagkikiram ng pera sa bangko para ilagay sa negosyo? Iba kasi yung business. Iba rin tong investment. So sa business kasi, you have more control as to how you're going to do your marketing, you, you do your sales, your operations, your finance. Mas may control ka kasi business mo yun. Kaya nga, ang mga banks, humihingi rin sila ng collateral so that in, in case na hindi maganda yung performance ng sarili mong business, meron silang matatanggap na safety net, which is yung collateral mo, which is usually real estate. Okay? Ganun yun. Pero if you're going to go to the bank, tapos magsabi ka, Sir, mag-loan ako. Bakit? Para mag-invest ako sa stock market kasi baba yung price ngayon. Definitely, they will not give you the money. Okay. definitely they will not give you the money. Kasi nga, al, ano, kung baga sa Bisaya pa, natanggap na sila sa una sa 1929 o 1930 na naitabo. Okay? So yun. Again, only invest the money that you can afford to lose. So personally, ganito yan. Um, ideally, you should have a six months savings na backup emergency funds mo. Ibig sabihin, if in case na walang income na papasok, Yung, yung savings mo can cover up all, lahat ng expenses mo, yung mga basic expenses mo for the next six months. Kahit na walang income na magpasok sa'yo. So lahat ng excess nun, pwede mong gagamitin for your investment sa stock market. Hindi yung lahat ng savings mo ang ilagay doon sa stock market. So clear ha? Klaro lang. Please do not do that. Kasi meron na tayong message ng tanggap and we don't want that to happen to you guys. And a lot of people actually are doing this. That's the reason why they get burned. And kaya rin tina, parang biniblame nila yung stock market kaya sila nalugi. But it's actually their incompetence of you know investing. Alright. So to sum it all up, ito yon. So naggawa kami ng diagram para madali lang intindihan sa atin. Um, Number one, it should be legal. Number two, never invest in anything that you do not understand. Pangatlo is only invest the money that you can afford to lose. So, ganit, ganito. If ang isa dyan is X, two out of three, tama, pero yung isa X, then wag ka mag-invest. Okay? So, kung legal siya, naintindihan mo yung process, pero wala ka pang pera, at least, meron ka ng understanding, okay, ito pa yung investment vehicle. The moment you have extra money, at least, pwede ka na mag-invest. That is why, learning is more important than just having the money. So, the moment you learn more, then you know what to do with the money that you're gonna get. The moment you get it. Okay? So, ganun. Um, so, kung meron na tayong 
rules, meron tayong reason, which is yung inflation. So, bakit naman sa international stock market? Kasi nga, pwede, marami kasing investment vehicles ngayon. So, mention ka lang ha. Meron tayong real estate, meron tayong business, meron tayong forex, meron tayong UITF, Unit Investment Trust Fund. This is offered by the banks. Kung gusto mo naman na all-in-one, may insurance ka at the same time may medical benefits plus may investment factor ka pa, pwede ka sa VUL, Variable Unit Link. Ito yung ino-offer ng mga insurance. No? Um, pwede ka rin mag-bonds. In simple terms, ang bonds ay utang. No? Kung baga, you're gonna give your money. In exchange, meron ka matanggap na specific percentage at the end of the year. So usually, ang um, ino-offer din to ng mga banks. Uh, at the same time, meron tayo yung stock market. So sa stock market, before ito yung naiintindihan ko, I thought as a Filipino, I thought na sa local market lang ako pwede mag-invest because I'm a Filipino. But apparently, because of the, inter the internet technology, meron din tayong expansion na pwede tayo mag-invest internationally. So, yeah. Through eToro, which is one of the brokers na maka-access tayo sa international market. Okay? So, bakit international market? Number one is own a share of the company. So, ganito yan. If you're going to use First Metro Securities or Call Financial, definitely wala kang makikita na Facebook na share doon. Wala kang makikita na Apple doon. Bakit? Because they are not um, based in the Philippines. They are based in the US. No? Pero, Sir John, what if gusto ko talaga mag-invest ng Facebook kasi palagi ako nasa Facebook? Or kaya, Sir John, what if gusto ko ng Apple? Kasi an Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Eh, joke lang. <laughs> or an app, maganda yung items ng Apple. I'm actually an Apple fan. No? I have like an Apple Watch, a MacBook, iPhone. you know, everything. Me too. Yeah. So, mga ganong bagay. Uh, paano yun? So, you can still own a share of the company doon. Doon sa, sa kanila. Provided my broker ka, which is ang eToro. So technically, the moment you become a stockholder, you are an owner of the business. Oh, kuya, boy. Negosyante na ka-parts. Investor na ta-parts. Anak na siya. But it doesn't mean na musulod ka dito. Let's say you buy like Apple, tapos you can just command your employees to do everything because you are a stockholder. No, that's not the case. Okay? The point is, the moment what happens to the business, you are also part of it. So if the price or if the stock price is going up, tapos bumili ka before, tapos unmakyat yung value ng company, then meron kang matatanggap na capital gains ang tawag doon. Okay? So meron din ibang companies na may dividends. Pasabot sa dividends, kanam itong mga sharing, profit sharing. Oh, diba? So this is one of the best ways for us to have our money working for us instead of us working for money. Ito yung uh, kumbaga sa, sa tatlong stages ng income or types of income I think, earned, portfolio, and passive. When you become a stock market investor, it's part of portfolio income. Okay? Portfolio income yan. So, ganun. So, own a share of the company. That's number one. So, ang stock market kasi is you become an investor. You become a shareholder of the company. Tapos, whatever happens to the company, you are part of it. Okay? So, very simple. Pangalawa is capital gains. So, ano ba itong capital gains? For example, so this is data I got from eToro. No? So, Apple. Gagamitin na natin yung Apple na example, which is a uh, tech company, hindi sila computer company. It is one of the most valuable companies in the entire world. Halos lahat ng tao alam anong Apple, di ba? So three years ago, March 26, 2017, if you're going to buy one share, isang share lang ng Apple, meron kang $143.76 ang kailangan mong i-invest just to own one share ng Apple. Okay? One lang. Three years, no? which is kahapon, March 26, 2020, Yung price ng Apple was 245 and 52 cents dollars. So nag-increase siya ng 101 dollars and 76 cents 
that's a 41% increase in three years. So, yung penongs kanina, 24% yung increase niya in eight years. Pero etong Apple, 41% yung increase niya in three years. So, if you do the math, mas malaki yung um, value na kuha natin sa pag-invest sa Apple compared sa inflation dito sa Pilipinas. Gets niyo so far? So, that's why when you invest in the stock market in general, actually, just for you to have an idea, the average return rate when you invest in the stock market is 10% per annum. Okay, 10% per annum. So, annually yun. So, at least man lang, kung 3.5% yung inflation, tapos yung growth rate mo sa stock market is 10%, may breathing room ka na 6.5%. Okay? So, ganun yan. Siya. So, capital gains is one of the reasons. And pangatlo talaga, which is my favorite, is diversification. Tulad ngayon, mar, uh, because of the coronavirus, maram, um, merong tayong changes in terms of trading hours dito sa, dito sa Philippine stock market, which is around, I think you can just trade around 1 to 2 p.m. from, from 9.30 to 1 to 2 p.m. na lang. So, dati pwede ka kasi hanggang 3.30. Diba? So, the moment you are diversified, when one market is down, pwede kang may another market ka na pwede mo po siyang i-try. Or pwede mo po siyang uh, may diversify yung funds mo. Kung baga, do not put your eggs in one basket. The moment one thing goes down, tapos madamay, madamay ka lahat, patay. GG. No? Sa Dota pa. Good game. GG. Okay? So, kailangan natin diversify. So, it's good na meron kang pera sa stocks, meron ka rin pera sa bonds, meron ka rin pera sa savings mo, meron ka rin sariling cash mo for your own needs. Kumbaga, hindi lahat ng pera mo nakalagay sa isang basket. It should be diversified. Meron ka dito, meron ka doon, meron ka dyan. Para if something happens to one thing, hindi lahat ng value ng pera mo ay mawala. Okay? So, three reasons. Diversification, capital gains, tapos, own a share of the company. Own a share of the company, capital gains, diversification. So, international markets. And now, ang tanong ngayon, okay, Sir John, naintindihan ko na kung bakit, alam ko na rin kung bakit international stocks and ano yung rules of investing. Definitely, eToro is legal and it's regulated. So, check na yung number one sa rules of investing. Pangalawa, we're doing this webinar para ma-educate tayo about in investing in the market. Kung yun yung um, rule number two, pangatlo naman is kung meron ba tayong extra funds. So kung meron tayong extra funds, this is one of the things that you can do right now, especially na for sale ang mga companies ngayon kasi nga of the coronavirus, baba yung mga market. Okay? So just going to introduce um, Jeff here. So again, nakikita kami last November 30, 2019. Icon Davao. Icon Davao Investment Conference conducted by Randall Kyungson, sila Marvin Germo, sila Roby Samson. If you know these people, they are one of they are the people that we need to follow as well if you want to understand more about financial markets, no? And um siya yung business development associate. Ibig sabihin po ng business development, kumbaga it's like uh, trying to find ways to to market the company. And grow. Kumbaga parang marketing. Uh, so, mm -hmm. grow the company. And, uh, kaya nga nag-usap kami dun. So, we also thought it's a good idea to somehow do a collaboration para makalearn din tayo from, from him besides mm -hmm. the information that you're going to get from me. Alright? And, I'm going to pass the ball to him na ngayon. So, let's listen to him. And, oh, prepare man. your questions na about sa, sa stock market. Alright? So, Jeff, do All your right. thing, man. Thanks, John. Uh, so, thanks for having me. Maraming salamat sa inyo. I'm very, very happy uh, to have um, to spend my Friday night with you guys as well. Um, as John mentioned, actually, uh, yung sa presentation ko and yung sa uh, pag-usapan natin, uh, marami rin yung ano niya, yung um, ano niya, um, uh, how do you say, yung linkage niya, also sa binanggit ni John, saktong-sakto actually, even yung Apple example ni John. Um, so can I uh, let me just try to share my screen? Uh, Jan, kailangan mo yata uh, exit yep. sa yo. 
Okay. Uh, so anyways, uh, first of all, I'll just to give you guys an introduction of myself. Um, since nag introduce din si Jan, mahirap tapatan. Um, but basically, tama si Jan, I'm the business development associate um, for eToro uh, for the Philippine market. Um, so basically, si eToro, uh, we started in uh, way back in 2007, actually. Um, and then um, a few years ago, uh, roughly two years ago, um, pumasok ko sa eToro to really help eToro grow. Um, but part of it also uh, is maabot yung mga uh, Filipinos natin and also other clients. So not just Filip uh, Filipinos in the Philippines. Uh, marami tayong comments just now uh, from Abu Dhabi, from Norway, uh, from Hong Kong also. So it's really to spread uh, eToro and investing in the global markets. Um, and one of the reasons is to copy trading as well, which we will talk about. So that's me. Uh, my background before, um, kung familiar kayo sa Heineken beer. <laughs> so I used to work for Heineken as well. So pretty big departure. Pero uh, marami tayong similarities also na may kita uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of the business, in terms of how you conduct business uh, and help customers as well. Uh, so let me just begin um, by showing everybody, uh, just give me a moment. Here. So let me just begin by letting everybody know that right now, um, parati ko ito sinasabi sa lahat ng mga nakikita akong uh, tao ngayon eh. Uh, we are in the midst of history right now. Why? Uh, I'm sure narinig nyo na lahat yung 2008 financial crisis. And yep. even, uh, this is a bit, this is I think even worse than that. That's my own opinion. Um, but uh, what I'm sure of is 10 years from now, same as 2008, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, pag-uusapan itong nangyayari sa atin ngayon. Um, hopefully, uh, we get through it pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I just want to let everybody know na right now, you are part of history. So, pag, uh, pwede mo sabihin sa anak mo, sa grandkids mo, um, ito yung ginagawa ko noong coronavirus time. Um, so, um, why do I say this? Kasi pag tinignan mo, um, there's a lot of headlines. I'm sure nakita niyo na rin to. I'm sure it's not just me. I'm in I'm into the financial markets, pero even si Jan, uh, even kayo uh, nagpi-Facebook lang kayo. I'm sure nakita niyo rin to mga balita na to. Um, there is no gold. Panic buying na, na, na sold out yung gold. Dow Jones drops nearly 3000 points. Worst day since 1987. 19 worst day since 1987. Grabe. Um, markets experts say coronavirus is worse than anything we've seen since 1929. Here's how bad it could get. You know, Goldman Sachs predicts stock market will bottom down. Uh, record. This was just uh, yesterday, March 26. to actually. Um, 3.28 million Americans applied for unemployment benefits last week. Um, so the effect is really, really big. Uh, that's why I say that we're in the middle of history right now. You know, sobrang dami mga balita. I'm sure you can search for this. Um, and, you know, um, same as what Jan mentioned, um, gusto natin talaga matuto eh. So we have to look at this from an objective point of view. Kahit kami mismo, um, I'm, you know, uh, Jan is telling you, uh, you should explore how to invest in the stock market right now. Um, but just how bad ba talaga siya, right? So March 16, so 10, uh, 11 days ago, Right? Dow Jones Industrial Average, so yung Dow Jones, S&P, and NASDAQ, itong tatlo, parati mo siya maririnig uh, when you talk about the U.S. Uh, stock market. Uh, so Dow Jones, minus 12.93% in one day. So worst ever loss on a point basis and biggest percentage decline since 1987. Uh, second worst in Dow Jones history. The first was, the worst was 1929. Uh, uh, this is the second worst. So, see, na naiintindihan yun na ngayon why I keep saying we're in the middle of history. Uh, S&P dropped off 11.98% in one day. NASDAQ 12.32% in one day. Uh, worse since 1971. Um, to make it simple, ang ibig sabihin lang yan is, let's say, nag-invest ka ng $100 uh, sa, during that day, March 16, nag-invest ka ng $100. At the end of the day, uh, nalugi ka ng 12.93% or $12 na kagad yung nalugi sa'yo. So it's really, really bad. Um, on the right-hand side, may kita nyo um, yung panic for over the past uh, declines din ng stock market. So pag tingnan mo, uh, yung nakabilog dyan, um, yan, yung, yan yung sa atin right now. Ito yung biggest decline natin in history in, in one month. It's pretty crazy. Um, so we're not, trying to, um, we're not trying to scare anybody here. This is the facts. This is actually what's happening right now. 
Um, but at the same time, why are there so many new investors? Uh, kahit kami sa eToro, uh, we're working around the clock, super busy. Uh, pag nakita mo lang iBags ko. Um, because we have so many new clients coming in. And not just eToro. I'm sure pag tinanong mo uh, si Robbie of uh, First Metrosec or even Call Financial or even um, other brokers, international brokers, ang daming mga bagong investors na gustong pumasok. Um, kasi, for example, this one, uh, Nasdaq ETF gets biggest inflow in two decades, right? Um, the reason for this, one of the reasons for this is that markets tend to bounce back. Ibig sabihin, so bumagsak tayo ng malaki just here, pero malakas din yung pagbawi niya, especially during pandemic. So for example, um, this uh, chart right here, yung nasa my uh, left-hand side natin, this is just, this is a collection of global uh, economies, so including Philippines, uh, US, uh, China, all of these countries. Tapos anong nangyayari sa kanila after a pandemic? So for example, uh, pag tingin naman sa right-hand side, SARS. SARS happened in 2003. Um, six months later, uh, this is in percentage, six months later, yung stock market, yung S&P or US stock market, uh, was up 14.59%. 12 months later, another six months, 20% up na siya. Um, swine flu, so AH1N1 to, uh, yung panahon natin before. I'm sure natatandaan talaga natin to. Eh. AH1N1, 2009. And six months later, so after mangyari yun, six months later, 18.72% up yung markets. 12 months later, 35.96%. Um, Zika virus, uh, closest sa atin, 2016. Um, Ebola and Zika, uh, you'll see it there. Um, 12 months later, same story, 12%. 12, uh, sorry, six months later, 12%. 12 months later, 17.45. So uh, what it means is, yes, tama yung pinakita nga natin. Bumabagsak talaga yung markets. Um, but at the same time, nakapagbawi siya. Uh, of course, this is based on past, uh, past data. Hindi natin alam kung kailan siya babawi. Eh, right? For all we know, baka three months more, two months more pa siyang bababa. Or maybe next month, babawi na siya. That's what we don't know. But what we do know is bumabawi talaga yung markets. Um, also, um, I think nabanggit din to ni John kanina. Sakto to eh. Uh, I'll let you in on a secret. <laughs> so, um, I think nakita ko na rin siya sa comments kanina eh. Um, and which is what Jan has been mentioning as well. Na, um, a lot of the stocks now are undervalued. So for example, this is Apple. Um, so actually, yung kinuha ni Jan na price, 245, 200 something, um, bumagsak na siya. So if you can, if you look at the bumagsak chart, na naman. Mm -hmm, 200, <laughs> yung 200 plus na yan, bababa na siya. Um, it's actually, yung peak niya was 327. So, itong chart na nakita niyo sa screen niyo since 2017 yan, same as what John got. Since 2017, um, it went all the way up. 2017, it was around 140-something. Went all the way up to 325. And then, bumagsak siya to 230. Um, but, if you think about it, ito yung mga presyo niya eh. Pero pag inisip niyo, uh, naniniwala ka ba sa Apple na company mismo? Right? Uh, maglalabas pa ba ng bagong iPhone si Apple? Uh, maglalabas pa ba siya ng bagong apps? Right? Apple Music, um, ano pa, yung mga Apple TV, mga ganito. So, tingin mo ba dahil sa coronavirus, mawawala na tong lahat? If yes, then huwag ka bumili ng Apple. Diba? Kasi pag nawala tong lahat, lalong bababa pa yung si Apple. Pero kung naniwala, naniniwala ka na lalabas pa siya or mag-release pa rin siya ng mga bagong uh, products like this, then there's a chance na bumawi pa siya. Right? So, for example, kung naniniwala ka sa Apple, I, I mean, it's my personal opinion. Uh, my personal opinion is ako naniniwala ko sa Apple. So, maybe I want to buy now. Uh, it's right at the 30% discount. Right? Of course, depende sa'yo kung kailan mo siya gustong bilhin. But as of March 23, it was around 30%. Um, and it's not just Apple. Pag tinignan mo uh, sa eToro or even if you go to TradingView, all of these um, websites, pag sinerch mo yung stock na interested ka, for example, Facebook, or maybe uh, Microsoft, or maybe McDonald's, Starbucks. Pag sinerch mo, nakikita mo yung chart nila, halos pareho dito sa, um, sa nangyari sa Apple. Umakit siya ng mataas, and then because of this coronavirus nga, bumagsak siya. Um, and then it's up to you kung naniniwala ka ba sa company, tingin mo ba maganda siyang bilhin. Uh, but that's, that's the reality of it. Um, another thing also, very, very interesting, is together, uh, kanina, so tinignan natin, March 16 yun, Less than 10 days, 9 days later, this was just Wednesday, um, Dow Jones had its best one-day gain since 1933. So, diba, um, no March 16, second worst day niya, 
And then March 25, less than 10 days, biggest one day gain, yeah. Uh, plus 11.3%, S&P 9.3, NASDAQ 8.1. Uh, bakit to nangyari? Um, kung sinundan niyo yung news at that time, yung US government uh, nag-agree sila or malapit na sila mag-agree on a $2 trillion um, uh, law to give to families and businesses. So I think uh, just recently, Singapore also did this. Um, other countries are also doing this. China did this. Uh, nung sila yung una natamaan ng corona, ginawa rin to ng China. So upon news, once na narinig ng mga tao to, tutulungan ng US governments yung mga stocks, um, lahat ng tao bumili ka agad. So itong may kita mo, so bumagsak yung Dow Jones, tuloy-tuloy yung pagbagsak niya since February. So pag tiningnan nyo lang yung chart ko, um, since February bumagsak siya. And then at this point, March 25, ang laki nung tinalon niya ulit. Kasi nga, naniniwala sila eh, na mura yung Apple, tutulungan na siya ng gobyerno, bilhin ko na. Something like this. Right? Uh, and um, don't take my word for it, pwede siyang isearch. Search nyo lang uh, yung nakita nyo dyan, DJ30, tapos tingnan nyo yung charts, may kita nyo rin siya doon. So, uh, which is why um, sakto siya doon sa uh, kung bakit namin ni John um, schedule tong webinar na to, is to really let you know um, uh, to better equip you, hindi, namin, hindi naman namin sinasabi sa inyo na mag-invest kayo kagad, tulad ng sinabi ni John, right? Um, only invest what you're willing to lose. And at the same time, kailangan alam mo rin kung ano yung uh, ini-investan mo talaga, right? Hindi ka dapat mag-invest ng bulag. Um, so, which is why we wanted to have this session para matulungan kayo kung ano ba dapat yung uh, gagawin ninyo to, to explore it, uh, to learn it at the very least. So normally, kung sa mga uh, customers namin, sa mga clients namin, uh, ito yung normal questions na nakuha namin. Unang-una is, okay, uh, gusto kong mag-invest sa stocks or gusto kong mag-invest sa markets, um, pero hindi ko alam kung paano. Uh, kanino ba ako lalapit? Uh, sinong broker ba gagamitin ko? Uh, so that's one thing we will discuss. Pangalawa is, um, okay, alam ko na kung kaninong broker ang pupunta. Baka sa banko, baka sa call financial, baka sa eToro, something like this. Um, hindi ko na alam, hindi pa ako marunong eh. So, ano bang gagawin ko? Uh, number three, uh, also, wala akong oras mag-trade. Kasi lahat naman tayo, whether may business ka, whether may trabaho ka, during the day, nagtatrabaho ka, uh, tinatakbo mo yung business mo, at night, kailangan mo matulog at magpahinga. Right? Eh, yung US stock markets, nag-open sila 9.30pm, at, at least right now, 9.30pm to 4.30am uh, Philippine time. So, alangan naman magtrabaho ka sa umaga, tapos wala kang tulog sa gabi sa pagtitrade. Uh, mahirap yun. Right? Number four is, um, again, as we mentioned, very volatile yung markets. March 16, bagsak. March 25, talon ulit. So, very, very volatile. Sometimes very scary for some people as well. Right? So, we want to be able to help you with this. So, unang-una, uh, just to give you guys an idea, yung vision ni Itoro, uh, the reason why we actually want to show this, kasi may kita nyo sa presentation uh, as we go on, uh, how, it, how it integrates sa eToro mismo. So our vision is basically to grow the global, oh, sorry, open the global markets for everyone, meaning hindi lang tulad namin ni Jan na may alam sa finance, or hindi lang sa mga uh, professors ninyo, or sa mga tito ninyo, uh, but also basically everyone. Hindi kailangan malaki yung capital mo, hindi kailangan uh, maliit capital mo, basically everyone to invest in a simple and transparent way. Transparent meaning, uh, alam nyo talaga kung ano yung ginagawa ninyo, alam nyo talaga kung nasaan yung pera ninyo. So that's our vision as a company. Um, and the special thing with eToro is, um, compared to other brokers, you know, pwede ka pumunta sa mga ibang brokers, at tas pag kinompare mo siya sa eToro, one of the most special thing about eToro is yung social aspect natin. Uh, ipapakita ko rin naman sa inyo maya maya yun. Uh, pero basically, si eToro, uh, the easiest way to think about eToro is, di ba, right now, actually, very interesting, uh, right now, nasa Facebook Live tayo, um, yung eToro, pwede mo siyang i-consider as, uh, invest, uh, as like Facebook. So, di ba, sa feed mo, sa news feed mo, meron kang pictures ng mga pusa, pictures ng mga kamag-anak mo, pictures ng mga ex mo siguro, di ko alam. Um, but, um, yun yung mga nakikita mo sa feed mo sa Facebook, um, parang ganun din, may ganun din si eToro, except um, investing, stocks, financial markets yung nakikita mo doon. So, imbis na one hour kang na tumitingin sa mga previous photos ng ex mo, pwede, kang, pwede mong gamitin yung isang oras mo doon sa feed ng eToro para at least mas matuto ka rin. Um, so, what do we offer? Basically, ito yung sagot natin sa problem number one na no access. 
right? So sa eToro, um, we allow you to invest in, uh, tingin muna kayo sa right hand side, so asset classes, we allow you to invest in over 2,000 products. So for now, stocks yung maging focus natin. Uh, pero aside from this, just in case interested kayo sa mga iba, for example, crypto, um, indices, commodities like oil and gold, currencies, forex, ETFs as well, lahat to meron tayo. Uh, again, meron tayong social network. And then in terms of market, yung mga stocks natin, hindi lang US stocks, um, but also stocks from other countries like UK, Germany, um, Hong Kong. Um, o sa ngayon, wala pa tayong stocks in the Philippines. Um, just because hindi pa ganun kalaki yung mga companies natin in the Philippines. Um, but at least in the international space, uh, ino-offer natin siya. So, ano ba, ah, dami kong sinabi, pero ano ba talaga ang pwede mong gawin sa eToro? Unang-una, uh, pwede ka mag-invest mag-isa. So, that's manual trading. Uh, ikaw mismo yung mag invest Pangalawa, pwede ka mangopya ng ibang tao. Uh, we'll go into that later. Pero ang ibig sabihin niyan is pwede ka mangopya ng ibang tao at kung nag-trade siya, ikaw rin mag-trade ka rin. Uh, lastly is pwede ka mag-invest in a whole portfolio. Uh, hindi natin siya masyado pag-usapan ngayon kasi medyo malalim. Uh, hindi naman siya malalim. Um, related din kasi siya sa manual investing. So it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so in eToro, you can invest in stocks, crypto, commodities. How does it work? Um, ito yung um, account ko. Pwede mo ako search actually, Jeff Guo. Uh, pwede mo ako search sa eToro. May kita mo yung profile ko kasi nga very transparent tayo. Um, when you log in, dun sa bandang kaliwa, may kita mo yung trade markets. And then may kita mo may mapipilian ka dyan. So right off the bat, may kita mo si Disney, Tesla, all of these other things. Uh, so kung interested ka, for example, in crypto, ETF, stocks. So one example, for example, pag tinindot mo yung stocks, um, here is a list. Um, actually, gusto ko sayang medyo naglalag tayo. Gusto ko sanang uh, a bit interactive. Kumbaga, pwede nyo rin naman siya gawin. Um, alin dito or ilan dito yung uh, manineme ninyo? So for example, right? Facebook, Apple, Google, Tesla, Snapchat, Microsoft, Samsung, Xiaomi, right? Um, for uh, kung ang hilig mo is food, right? McDonald's, Starbucks, Domino's Pizza, uh, Dunkin Dunkin Donuts. So itong Dunkin Brands Group, yun yung Dunkin Donuts. Um, kung mahilig ka sa sports, right? Nike, Adidas, Puma, Under Armour, pwede ka mag-invest sa kanila. Or if you're a gamer, um, wala na ako masyadong oras to game, but when I was a bit younger, <laughs> Um, nahilig rin ako sa, sa gaming. So for example, uh, Dota is made by uh, Blizzard, right? Um, Take-Two, uh, I believe Take-Two uh, is the maker of GTA. Uh, Sony, PlayStation, I'm sure alam natin lahat yung PlayStation. Sony is the maker. Nintendo, Game Boy. Um, Zynga, kung natatandaan mo yung Zynga Poker, way back, yung bagong-bago lang yung Facebook. So pwede, uh, Zynga is listed, pwede ka mag-invest sa Zynga. And even transportation, mga cars. Uh, Toyota, Honda, BMW, all the way to Ferrari, Porsche, Volkswagen. Lahat to, pwede, mong, uh, pwede ka mag-invest sa kanila kung gusto mo. Right. So that's just a few. So kung nakita ninyo, over 2,000 plus yun. Uh, this is just a few. Um, so that's that's basically for access. Kung uh, gusto mo mag-invest, saan ka ba pwedeng pumunta? Right? Uh, pangalawa is, um, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, gusto ko nga mag-invest, same as what John said. Pero yun nga, hindi ko pa alam kung ano to. Uh, hindi ko pa alam kung ano to. So, um, wala akong, kulang ako na experience, kulang ako na knowledge. Um, so, what can I do? So, unang-una, uh, wherever you go, whether, for example, ito si Zoom, pero for example, kung pumunta ka sa Facebook, kung, kung pumunta ka sa Apple, unang-una may may kita kang feed. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na parang Facebook. Uh, so, kung may kita mo sa screen, for this one, it's Taiwan. Taiwan is siya. It's only Chinese. Uh, mahirap siyang maintindihin. Pero may kita mo sa bandang baba, meron tayong translate na uh, button jan. So when you translate that automatic uh, within a few seconds, maho convert siya into English, uh, mababasa mo na siya. And uh, this is a screenshot, so hindi mo siya makita, pero, pero, pero pwede ka mag scroll down. Um, people from all over the world pinag usapan nila yung Zoom. Um, and then you also see other things like ano ba talaga yung Zoom mismo. Right now we're using Zoom. <laughs> and that's actually the reason why ito yung nilagay ko dito. Right now we're using Zoom. Uh, so yun, uh, it's, um, it's the feed. And then also for the stats, kung uh, mahilig ka sa numbers, uh, meron tayong stats dyan where all of these things like earnings per share, revenue, um, kung ano yung previous day na nag-close siya, market cap, gano'ng kalaki yung company, everything is there. Um, obviously, may chart tayo dyan. Uh, so just very quickly to let everybody, uh, kasi na, ano eh, uh, very, very interesting case si Zoom. So ito yung chart ni Zoom, pag tinignan mo siya, uh, yan, pag tinindot mo siya, may ganito. 
Um, pag tingnan mo yung chart na to, uh, tingnan mo sa bandang left hand side sa baba, uh, there's 2020. So dito nagsimula, this was January 2020. Zoom was at roughly $70. And then now, it's at 100, well at least nung kinuha ko to, um, I believe it was a while ago, uh, 140 na siya. So nag-double yung stock price ni Zoom uh, in three months, uh, less than three months actually. Um, bakit? Pwede mong sabihin, kasi nga lahat ng tao work from home na um, paano na yung mga meetings, mm -hmm. right? So, Zoom yung ginagamit nila, uh, even same as us, right? So, habang dumadami yung gumagamit ng Zoom, uh, dumadami rin yung kinkita ng Zoom, so maraming gustong bumili ng Zoom at that point. So, for example, as a very, very quick example, pag nag-invest ka ng $200 mo in Zoom, um, in January, start of the year, baka New Year's resolution mo, right? Gusto ko mag-invest. Um, nag-invest ka in Zoom, it would have doubled already. So, meaning if you invested 10,000 pesos, $200 is roughly 10,000 pesos, and 20,000 na siya in three months. Uh, again, um, this isn't a scam, this isn't um, a scheme. Uh, kung hindi ka naniliwa sa eToro, for example, itong chart na to, kasi eToro na chart to, pwede, pwede kang pumunta sa TradingView, pwede kang pumunta sa investing.com, check out the uh, chart of Zoom, and this is the same thing that you will see, right? Um, another thing is uh, to really help you, again, uh, may kita mo eh, right? Yung feed, yung stats, and finally yung research tab, meron tayong research tab dyan, is really to help you. Um, kung gusto ko mag-invest sa Apple, kung gusto ko mag-invest sa Zoom, ano ba yung mga kailangan kong malaman? So for example, this one is um, for research, uh, ito yung mga um, opinions ng mga analyst. Right? Yung mismong trabaho talaga nila is pag-aralan yung mga companies. So, ito yung um, consensus nila. So, some of them are saying to buy. Some of them are saying to hold. Huwag ka munang bumili. Huwag mo munang ibenta. Hawakan mo lang siya. Some of them are saying to sell. And ito yung price target niya uh, at that point. Right? So, uh, so, for example, kung ikaw mismo, ang uh, naniniwala ka sa sinasabi ng mga tao, uh, kung maraming nag-recommend na bilhin ko yung Zoom, bibilhin ko yung Zoom. Then you can go to feed. Or kung ikaw naman yung tipong numbers talaga, gusto mong pasukin talaga yung mga numbers, hindi ako naniniwa sa ibang tao, ako mismo pag-aaralan ko siya, then you can go to stats. Um, kung naniniwala ka sa mga analyst, then you can go to research tab. Right? Uh, so this is in terms of just to give you um, an overall picture kung what you need to know before you invest. So what if, okay, um, I'm convinced, okay na to, mag-invest na ako sa Zoom. Um, may kita mo sa upper right hand side, sobrang laki niya, trade yun nakalagay. So just click it, and then ito yung lalabas. Right. So um, yung minimum natin uh, to invest in stocks um, is just $50. So with $50, roughly $2,500 something in pesos, um, pwede ka na mag-invest in Zoom. Um, and then there's leverage. Uh, I think Jan can talk about leverage in future videos. We won't go too much into it. Um, but basically, um, if you look down below, $50 times one leverage. Pag tinignan mo sa baba, may overnight fee tayo dyan. Wala tayong overnight fee. So, zero yung may kita nyo dyan. So, all you need to do is to, in, to invest in stocks is just $50. For others, for example, for um, Forex, for commodities, for crypto, actually for cryptocurrency, $25 lang. Uh, for others, mas mataas. Depende kasi siya sa uh, tinitrade mo mismo. Pero for all of our stocks sa eToro, um, $50 lang yung kanyang minimum. So the third thing is, um, okay, so ko na nga talaga mag-invest and I've done my research. The problem is sometimes wala talaga akong oras para mag-trade, um, which is very, very valid even for me, right? Um, so sometimes what we tell our clients is let, just let the top traders work for you. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na, uh, so a while ago we covered kung ikaw mismo yung mag-invest sa stocks, right? You can do this for Zoom, you can do this for Apple, Facebook, uh, Sony, Nintendo, whatever. Um, so what if wala, gusto ko talaga pero wala akong oras so ito yung sinasabi natin na pwede ka mangopin na lang ng ibang tao let the top traders work for you um, so firstly what is social copy trading um, it's just very simple right? so kanina nasa trade markets tayo uh, ngayon just click copy people just lalabas yan lahat ng mga tao na pwede mong kopyahin so uh, may kita mo yung returns niya in the last 12 months meaning uh, kung one year ago, kung nag-invest ka sa kanya or naglagay ka ng pera para makopya sa kanya, um, to, uh, one year later, ito yung tubo mo. Uh, and then also my risk score siya. So uh, just to briefly let everybody know, ang ibig sabihin lang ng copy 
is, uh, for example, let's say kinopia ko ni Jan, um, the minimum to invest in copy trading is $200. So nag-invest si Jan sa akin uh, or kinopia ko ni Jan with 10,000 pesos or $200. Um, what that means is whenever I buy, kahit anong bilhin ko, for example, let's say bumili nga ako ng Zoom ngayon, automatic na bibilhin rin siya ni Jan sa kanyang account. So yung same Zoom na binili ko, bibilihin rin ni Jan sa kanyang account. Um, kahit tulog siya, kahit hindi niya binuksan yung eToro, kahit isang buwan na siyang hindi nag uh, hindi nag in sa eToro, basta kinakopya niya ako, um, bibilihin niya rin yung Zoom. And then later on, pag binenta ko na yung Zoom, automatic na ibebenta rin ni Jan yung Zoom. So same na same talaga tayo ng ginawa. At the same time and at the same price. Meaning, kung alam ko yung ginagawa ko, Right? Kung hindi lang naman ako basta-basta bumibili, kung I do my research, I do my investing, uh, kung tama ginagawa ako at kumita ako, let's say, ng 10%, uh, then si Jan din, 10% din ang kanyang pera yung kikitain niya. Right? And the best thing about this is, uh, hindi mo kailangan tapatan yung pera ko. For example, let's say, $10,000 yung, yung capital ko, si Jan, uh, $100,000 or even lower. For example, si Jan, $1,000 lang meron siya, ako $10,000. Uh, okay lang yun kasi yung percentage lang naman kinukuha namin sa eToro. So hindi mo rin kailangan tapatan yung uh, yung capital ng trader na kinakopya mo. Right? So for example, let's say pinili natin si J Nemesis. Pag pinindot mo yung account niya, um, again, very transparent tayo. Pinapakita namin sa inyo. Punta ka sa stats, nakita mo lahat ng mga stats niya um, since nagsimula siya mag-trade sa eToro. So for example, um, pinapakita namin sa inyo everything and we don't just make this up na lahat green so kopihin mo siya tapos malulugi ka pala. Right? So uh, may kita mo, right? Uh, for J Nemesis 2018, actually nalugi siya ng 53.84%. So meaning kung nag-invest ka ng kung nag-invest ka ng $1,000 kay J Nemesis noong start ng 2018, by the end of uh, by the start of 2019 at the end of the year, uh, nalugi ka ng kalahati na. Right? So very transparent tayo talaga. Um, but again, on 2019, kung iniwan mo lang, tinuloy mo lang siya, uh, tinuloy mo lang, okay, iwan ko na lang kay J Nemesis, kinopya ko siya. By the end of 2019, tumubo ka ng uh, 52.32. Um, and then this year, up siya by 16.81%. So for example, pwede nga rin na kopihin mo siya in one month lang. Right? For example, kinopya mo si J Nemesis ng uh, January 1. January 31, tinigil mo na yung pag-copy, then kumita ka ng 14.49%. Uh, same for negative. Kung kinopya mo siya um, during July, July 2019, nalugi ka na ng $5.19. Parang ganun. Um, aside from this, so this is his performance. Aside from this, pinapakita namin sa'yo other, um, other uh, stats that you might want to know. So for example, risk score. Um, risk score, gano'ng karami ba talaga, gano'ng kalakas ba siya mag-risk? Gano'ng ka-risky ba talaga yung investment ko sa trader na to? So for example, uh, may kita mo yung yearly, uh, on average, yearly, ano siya, umaabot siya ng minus 23%. Um, pero yun nga, as we've seen in 2019, nababawi niya to 52.32, something like this. Uh, kung ikaw naman yung tipong investor na, again, uh, naniniwala ka sa lahat ng tao, for example, copiers. Uh, this J Nemesis trader has 9,437 people copying him. Meaning, um, for, siguro, siguro ikaw, naniniwala ka na, siguro naman itong 9,000 people na to alam nila kung ano ginagawa nila, kaya nila siya kinopya. So, okay, sige, kopihin ko na rin siya. Kung ganun ka mag-decide, then pwede rin naman. Uh, or, for example, may kita mo kung saan ba talaga ni J. Nemesis nilalagay yung pera na in-invest mo sa kanya or kinopya mo sa kanya. Right? 45.4% uh, is in stocks, 33% is in cryptocurrencies. Kung ikaw, um, hindi mo gusto yung cryptocurrencies, hindi ka naniniwala sa Bitcoin, um, pwede, uh, then I don't think you would want to invest in J-Nemesis. Diba? Uh, kasi nga, 33% ng pera mo, pinambibili niya ng Bitcoin. Parang ganun. So you can look for some other trader. Marami naman dyan. Um, kung naniniwala ka rin, for example, in, um, in other, uh, for example, may other metrics ka na gustong sundan, uh, how many times a week ba siya nagtitrade, uh, how many times a month niya ba, how long niya ba hawak in one month, something like this, lahat ng stats pinapakita namin. Uh, and for example, kung ready ka namang opya, let's say for this example, okay na tayo kay J Nemesis. Um, on the upper right hand side, may copy lang doon, uh, pinutin nyo lang siya. Um, sorry, before that, you should also go to feed, meron din tayong feed. Uh, so same thing with Zoom, right? Zoom, Facebook, kahit saan ka pumunta, parati siyang may feed. Um, wherein you can actually talk to the trader, in this case for J Nemesis, 
So naglalabas siya ng kanyang advice also. So you know, copying advice, quick comment on the Bitcoin move. Uh, so even if hindi mo siya kinopya, so right now may kita mo hindi ko pa siya kinokopya, pwede mong daanan na rin yung feed para matuto ka kung ano ba talaga yung opinions ni Jane Nemesis, ano ba yung sinasabi niya. Uh, may bio rin siya on the right hand side, requirement sa eToro yun kung gusto mo magpakopya. Uh, kailangan may bio ka para at least alam ng mga tao kung kanino ba talaga ako, sino ba talaga tong taong ini-investan ko, parang ganun. So when you're ready, pindutin mo lang yung copy and then this one shows up. Uh, yung minimum lang to copy someone is $200, roughly 10,000 pesos, parang ganun. Um, to copy someone is $200. Um, and then meron ka rin dito may kita stop copying if copy value uh, drops, drops below 120. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun is kung yung $200 na ininvest ko kay J Nemesis, kung nalugi na siya by uh, $80, ibig sabihin yung $200 ko naging $120 na lang baka hindi niya alam kung ano ginagawa niya, nalugi niya pera ko, uh, ibabalik na namin sa inyong $120 or itigil mo na yung copy. Ibig sabihin, pwede mong iset kung how much, how much you're willing to lose. So, kung bago lang yung, uh, hindi, wala ka pa masyadong tiwala kay Genemesis, maingat ka, then pwede mong taasan, ta taasan tong value na to. Meaning, for example, pag nalugi si Genemesis ng $20 out of my $200, balik mo na yung $180 sa akin. So, pwede mo siyang gawing ganun. Or, pwede mo rin siyang babaan. Uh, naniniwala ka kay J. Demesis, kahit nalugi siya, alam kong kaya niyang bawiin, then pwede mong ilagay siya at like 100 or, or, or 80, something like this. So, that's when you copy somebody. So, lastly, um, what if natatakot lang talaga ako sa volatile markets, right? Uh, we're very clear, kanina bumagsak siya by, um, by second worst day in Dow Jones history, Next day, bumawi ulit siya. Um, baka magkaroon na ng heart attack dito. Uh, so, right? So, um, what if it's very volatile? Then, uptrend, pwede kang bumili. Downtrend, pwede kang mag-short sell. So, we're not going to go too much into it. Um, but that's what you can do at eToro. Or, again, on the other hand, pwede kang maghanap ng trader na very safe. So, this one, si Olivier Danville. He's, again, one of our top, top traders sa eToro. Um, the reason why is kung tinignan mo yung stats niya, um, he's been with us for a long time. Every single month, very, very green, right? Pag kinompare mo kay J. Nemesis, may mga months na negative si J. Nemesis. Eh. Um, kay Oliver naman, every single month, up siya. But mapapansin mo, hindi malaki yung gain niya. So for example, in one month, uh, in for example, February, uh, February 2020, 0.26 lang yung, ano niya, yung gain niya. Um, in January, one month, 1% lang. Kanina kay J. Nemesis, 14% in one month, right? Um, pero the thing with Oliver Danville is wala siyang lugi. Um, at least based on his historicals, wala siyang lugi. And the most interesting thing is kami mismo sa eToro, um, inaabangan namin actually uh, na malugi rin si Oliver. Uh, not naman na gusto namin siya malugi, pero inaabangan din namin. Kasi pangit tingnan eh, right? Uh, pinapakita ko sa inyo, tingnan mo tong si Oliver Danville. Uh, green siya all the time. Hindi siya nalulugi. Uh, may mga magsasabi sa amin, baka, baka niluluto nyo lang yan. Baka hindi naman totoo yan eh. Um, so it's very interesting na this, uh, nagpalit siya ng profile picture eh. This was taken in November, November 2019. Um, during that time sa Icon Davao, actually, sa Icon Davao na, na slide to eh. Um, yung calling ko si Iris, nagbigay siya ng talk. Ito yung ginamit niyang example as well. This was November 2019, 0.22% up si Olivier Danville at that time. Um, and then tuloy-tuloy siya up until the, today in March. Actually, pag tinignan mo yung November 2019 sa, uh, sa slide na to, kumita pa siya more during that time from 0.22 at the end of the month, 0.37 yung kinita niya. Um, and again, hindi mo kailangan maniwala sa akin. Pag pinindot mo yung show more, pwede mo siya hanapin sa eToro. Pag pinindot mo yung show more, may kita mo pa yung other years niya kung kamusta yung performance niya doon. Um, so this is the same for all of the traders sa eToro. Um, when actually, by default, pag gumawa ka ng account sa amin, uh, public din yung account mo, meaning um, pwede kong isearch yung account, um, account, for example, ni Mark um, in, our, in our chat. Pwede ko siyang isearch and then ano, uh, may kita ko din yung profile niya. Of course, pwede ka rin mag-public. Um, so again, this is Oliver. Um, also, pwede kang maghanap din ng traders na mababa yung risk score uh, na kumbaga mas uh, conservative or mas maingat sila. So the, we also have a category lower risk score, medium risk score. Um, pag tinignan nyo siya actually, in general, right, um, pag lower risk score ka, mas mababa yung returns mo. 
uh, for higher risk or mas mataas yung returns. May kita mo siya dyan, uh, in general. Uh, so you can look at the, at the categories there. So basically, just to really summarize, um, halos ito rin naman yung presentation ko. We can go into Q&A. I think maraming questions uh, tayo which we can cover. Um, firstly, again, lack of access. Gusto ko magsimula mag-invest. Hindi ko alam paano. Uh, then the minimum for eToro is just $200 open an account. Right? Hindi mo kailangan ng malaking capital. Um, lack of knowledge. Hindi ko alam kung ano gagawin ko. Meron akong $200, ready na ako mag-invest, pero hindi pa ako marunong. Then pwede ka muna matuto sa newsfeed. Pwede ka muna mga opinan ibang tao. Meron tayong virtual account. Um, wala akong oras para mag-trading. Then pwede ka mga opinan na lang. Right? In the morning, pwede mong uh, pag-aralan yung mga stocks. And then at night, kung nagpapahinga ka, pwede ka mga opinan na lang. Um, fourthly, risky due to volatile markets. Then, pwede kang mag-opia ng safe na trader like si Oliver Danville or any other traders na pwede mo mahanap. Uh, the, the point there is to let the top traders work for you. And really, the best part there is uh, tong copy trading na to, I saw Mark ask fees. Um, we don't have a performance fee. We also don't have a management fee for copy trading. Meaning, uh, yung gains na nakuha mo, 20%, 30%, 10%, 5%, 5%, walang kinukuha doon yung trader kasi si Itoro yung nagbabayad sa kanila. <laughs> Um, kami yung nagbibigay sa kanila ng, um, ng payment for being a popular investor. So uh, that's it. Lastly, before I end lang, just want to let you guys know na meron tayong um, free 100,000 virtual account. Um, I believe uh, uh, John can share the link to you. Uh, meron tayong 100,000 na virtual account. Hindi mo kailangan mag-deposit. Uh, uh, Mag-register ka na ng account for us, uh, with us. And then once nakapag-login ka, uh, lipat ka lang sa virtual account mo. So let me just give you guys a very quick here. So pag na mo tong slide na to, on the left-hand side, near my name, may kita mo yung username ko, may kita mo nasa real account ako. So pag nag-deposit ka ng pera, dyan mapupunta yung pera mo sa real account. Um, pag pinindot mo yan, may drop-down na lalabas, uh, pwede, ka pumil pwede mong piliin yung virtual account mo. Tapos may kita mo may 100,000 ka na play money doon. Hindi, uh, hindi namin kayo sisingilin for that. Kahit malugi ka doon, pwede natin siya i-reset. It's really just for you to test out the markets. And the good thing is, yung mga price, whatever price na makita mo sa Apple, um, yun din yung may kita mo sa virtual account na price. Meaning, kung gusto mo talagang, for example, gusto mong i-simulate na nag-invest ka ng Apple ngayon, one month later, ano mangyayari sa pera ko, then pwede ka maligay ng $50 from your virtual balance gamitin mo pambili ng Apple and tingnan mo uh, one month from now kung ano mangyayari doon. So we have that virtual account available for you. Um, I think Jan should have the link for that so it shouldn't be any problem. Um, and lastly, before we go into Q&A, kung may questions kayo for, for me or, or also for Jan, um, you may contact me at jeffguo at itoro.com. Jeffguo yung pangalan ko. Um, nabitin lang ng O. Uh, pero feel free to send me an email. Um, also, meron din naman tayong Q&A here. Uh, so I pass it on to you, Jan. Uh, how would you want to proceed with the Q and A? Let me just. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing those things. No. Uh, not sure. Parang na interrupt yata yung Facebook video natin. Oh. Well, you know, mga last parts na. Siguro, I'm not sure why, but sige lang, we're we're streaming mm -hmm. it live again. Mm -hmm. So far, meron naman tayong mga questions from. From our audience, I think actually, um, I believe Mark asked about fees. Uh, so shout out to Mark. Uh, nawalan na yata ng signal. Um, hopefully, it's not my internet. Um, pero uh, may recording naman tayo, so it should be uh, good for everybody. So in terms of fees for eToro, um, actually, I didn't want to go too much into the slides about it. Uh, pero in terms of fees. Um, si Itoro, hindi kami nag-charge ng any um, execution fees. Um, the way Itoro makes money is through spreads. So, uh, very simple lang naman yung spread. Ibig sabihin lang nun is may patong si Itoro uh, doon sa selling price. Um, so, what that means is, for example, pag sinerch mo yung presyo ng, um, ng, for example, Apple stock. Right? Pag sinerch mo yung presyo ng Apple stock sa, sa Google, Google, mo lang, Google search mo lang what is uh, Apple price right now. Lalabas yung presyo ni Apple. Um, Tapos pag kinompare mo siya sa eToro, mas mataas lang ng konti yung price ni eToro. Uh, specifically, 0.09% yung patong namin sa kanya uh, at na minimum. 
So, yun yung, doon ko pikita si Itoro, doon sa patong namin. So, similarly, let's say, pag nakita mo yung price ng isang stock, $50 sa, US, uh, sa Google, baka may kita mo sa Itoro, 50 point something. So, doon tayo kumikita. May, 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 may patong lang tayo doon. Um, that's generally how it is. Um, uh, for deposit fees, for example, pag nag-deposit ka, um, wala tayong fees for that. Hindi tayo nagbabawas. Uh, although, baka meron kang gastos kasi, for example, if peso ginagamit mo pang deposit, uh, convert yung peso mo into US dollars by your bank. If you use a credit card, then yung bank ko na nag-issue ng credit card, siya yung mag-convert. So, may fees. Uh, baka may fees. I, I believe, uh, from my experience, wala silang fees. Yung conversion lang. Susundin mo kasi yung conversion rate nila. Eh. Um, so, deposit, uh, deposit fees, it, at least in terms of eToro, are free. Um, withdrawal naman, meron tayong $5 lang na withdrawal fee. So, if you want to withdraw, for example, $100, then $95 lang yung ipapadala namin sa inyo. Uh, meron tayong $5 na withdrawal fee. Uh, well, actually, um, wala kaming tubo doon. It's really just, uh, kasi yung, yung withdrawals natin, manual uh, tao talaga yung nag, nag-check noon before we send it out. So, obviously, may, may cost pa rin siya. And that's just the $5 um, that we have. So that's, so yeah, Florence also had that question. Um, oh, there's another one. If I can, ito na lang yung nakita ko so far na question. Eh. Um, do you need to be a Filipino citizen uh, to use eToro? So actually, no. Um, sa eToro, ano naman kami? Um, we actually take a lot of different nationalities, different countries. We're present in over 150 countries. Uh, meron lang tayong ilang. Sorry, what was that, Chai? Ah, yun. Uh, so, meron oh, yeah. tayong... Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah, continue. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, uh, do I have to be a Filipino citizen to use eToro? Not necessarily. If you're Hong Kong, if you're... Just not US. Um, I believe for US, pwede naman, pero mas mahigpit tayo kasi not just us, but pero yung US government in general, kung US citizen ka, I'm sure you know this. Kung US citizen ka, I know, I'm sure you know this. Uh, maraming tax concerns. Kailangan mo magbayad ng tax pa rin sa US. So it's a bit tricky, but uh, everybody, everybody else can do it. We just don't accept, uh, for example, some people. For example, in Canada and Japan, we don't accept people living in Canada and Japan. But uh, if you're Canadian ka or Japanese, but you're in the Philippines, you're in Hong Kong, you can do it. So it should be okay. All right. That's nice. Na, ano. So technically, you uh, can open an account if you're in the US, Pero iba yung process. Yes, correct. Um, if you're in the US, yung ano mo, um, yung uh, papers mo and everything will be a bit different. Um, yung mga hihingin namin sa inyo na ano, uh, na documents will be a bit different. Um, mainly again because of the tax purposes. But everybody else should be okay. Okay. Nice, nice. Ito, meron din tayong isang tanong from, not sure how to pronounce the name, Juwolo Paulo Marfil Eroy. Okay. <laughs> so, ang tanong niya is, what is good? Long-term investment or trading? Oh, that's a good one. Um, for me, to be honest, the, the number one thing that you have to consider kung magsisimula ka in terms of the financial markets is number one, unang-una, especially with that question, unang-una is how much time ba meron ka? Right? Uh, if you're going to be uh, committed into trading, kailangan mo piliin yung time frame mo. Kasi meron, di ba, di ba, ito yung nakita mo sa movies eh. Uh, yung tipong buong araw nakaupulang sa harap ng computer, sinusundan lang nila yung markets. Kung meron kang ganong oras, then sure, you can do trading. Uh, you can do that type of trading. Meron din namang trading, uh, like what I personally do, uh, is called swing trading. Uh, ibig sabihin lang nun is, uh, let's say, um, yung time frame ko is within a few days or a few, sometimes a few weeks. Meaning, bibilihin ko si Apple ngayon, maybe after one day, bibenta ko na siya. Maybe after one week, bibenta ko na siya. That's called swing trading. Um, also, it depends also on you. So, me, uh, me personally, meron akong iilang stocks na um, ini-investan ko in the long term. Meaning, hawak ko lang talaga siya. Bibilihin ko siya ngayon. Maybe six months later ko pa siya ibibenta. Maybe one year later. Uh, meron naman ako ibang stocks na actively tinitrade ko. So, it depends on you, uh, on what you really want to do. Um, the good thing is, for example, kung gusto mo subukan yung trading, um, pwede ka pumunta sa virtual account ng eToro. 
Um, doon ka mag doon ka mag-practice ng trading mo since virtual account naman siya at least wala kang risk na malulugi ka ng pera, actual pera. And then at the same time, pwede mong ilagay yung pera mo sa um, sa copy trading for example uh, to invest it. So pwede rin naman 'yon. So you can do a mix of both. You can do just really investing. Kung wala ka talagang oras at all, then pwede ka mag-invest lang. Uh, kung gusto mo naman talaga may oras ka to really commit to trading, then you can actually do it as well. So I would say it depends on you, on you personally, kung ano yung hinahabol mo talaga. Yeah. At yung, if you're going to be, at, sa atin ng perspective, um, Paolo, if kung trading kasi you need to allocate time, so, for example, kung gagamitin natin yung local stock market, so um, the trading happens in the morning up to the afternoon, mga 9.30 to 3.30. Pero pag nandito ka naman sa international stocks, um, baliktad naman. Kasi umaga doon, gabi dito. Ganon. <laughs> so, kung baga, you really need to allocate time. But kung forex naman yung pag-usapan natin, it's 24-7 for the weekdays. Yes, Hmm. So, magkaiba naman. Kaya parang, it really depends on your time. If you're a family, let's say, kung may anak ka, then uh, possible time is an issue for you. Hmm. But, uh, kung gusto mo naman mag-invest, like magbili ka lang ng stock because you, you, you see the value of that specific company and then look at it in a long-term perspective, then, yeah, iba rin yung, ano, yung style. Hmm. So, you have to know yourself first kung ano ba yung pwede mo magawa investing ba or trading ako personally I'm really more into ano eh I'm really more into investing kasi nga we also have like a business to business to, to manage uh, pero kung gusto mong gago ang uh, gusto mong gawing profession yung trading so you can be a professional trader depende talaga yan sa okay next question um, I think it's still coming from Paulo saan ba ma-access ang itoro um, all you need is number one, I, an internet connection, right? Um, data, uh, Wi-Fi. So we're available on um, iOS, Android, uh, also browser. Actually, pwede mo type itoro.com lang nalabas siya doon. Um, again, for, for most countries we accept, it's just certain countries we don't. Canada, Japan, uh, ganun lang naman, and a few others like uh, Iraq. Um, pero yung mga iba, it should be fine. And then you just need an internet connection, etoro.com, and then you can go. Um, I actually have a pretty interesting one, si, uh, Melvin from, uh, from Zoom. Would you please elaborate more on percentage only in copying someone's account? Um, so good question. Uh, kung okay lang dyan, yeah, I'll answer question. it. Sure, right, so, sure. Um, so diba, uh, as I mentioned kanina, uh, in my example, pag kinopia ako ni Jan, uh, let's say I have $10,000. Um, yung, yung capital ko, mayaman ako, yung capital ko, $10,000, for example. Si John naman, um, bago pa lang, uh, hindi, hindi pa siya masyado naniniwala sa akin, right? So, $1,000 muna ang in-invest niya sa akin. Um, and then, for example, let's say I buy Facebook. Um, I, I think Facebook is going to go up, and then I buy Facebook with, let's say, 10% of my money, right? So, 10% um, of my $10,000, gagamitin ko pang bilhin ng Facebook. And since kinokopya ko ni Jan, 10% of his money, gagamitin niya pang bilhin naman ng Facebook. Again, all of this is automatic. So what that means is, um, out of my $10,000, $1,000 yung ginamit ko pang bilhin ng Facebook. Out of Jan's $1,000, $100 lang yung ginamit niya pang bilhin ng Facebook. Parang ganun. So at the end of the day, uh, pag binenta ko na si Facebook, let's say umakit siya ng, I don't know, 50%. Right? At the end of the day, pag binenta ko na si Facebook, I make... 50% of um, my money, 50% of $1,000. Si Jan naman, 50% of his $100 lang. Right? So, in terms of the amount, obviously, magkaiba kami ng kinita. Mas malaki yung uh, amount na kikitain ko versus kay Jan. Pero, at the same time, mas malaki kasi yung capital ko eh. Right? But, if you look at it in terms of percentage-wise, exactly the same yung kinita namin ni Jan. 50% sa akin, uh, in my Facebook trade, 50% din yung kinita ni Jan. Uh, from his money. So, ganun yung ibig sabihin niya when we say um, uh, percentage lang naman yung sinusundan natin when, when copying somebody. Kasi you can imagine, actually, uh, kung kinopya ako ni John, hindi rin naman kasi may kita ni John kung how much yung, yung capital ko. Siyempre, privacy concerns din yun. Um, kasi as, as a user, pwede, ko rin, pwede ka rin kopihin eh. For example, let's say Melvin, pag meron kang eToro account and, naki, and public siya and nakita ko na ano, 
na nakita ko na maganda performance mo, I can also copy you. Right? Um, and obviously, kung lahat ng tao pwede kopihin ng kunino man, um, privacy concerns din kasi kung pinapakita natin yung account balance. So, hindi actually, hindi mo rin makita yung account balance ng ibang tao. Uh, hindi rin nila makita yung account balance mo. Uh, that's completely private. But what we do show is yung percentage, yung performance mo in terms of percentages. So, hopefully that answers your question, Melvin. Um, nice. What if not... Nice. Uh, he, he actually had a, um, a follow-up question, follow which is also question. good. Uh, what if not enough yung fund ng copier? Uh, so kay Itoro, uh, what we do is as long as yung percentage na yun, as long as the final amount is uh, $1 and above, uh, mabibili mo siya. Um, if it's less than $1, let's say very, very small percentage, right? Let's say 1% na lang yung pinambili ko and maliit lang yung capital ni Jan. 1% uh, of his capital, hindi umabot ng $1 then hindi siya mag execute kasi masyado nang maliit eh. Right? You're playing at cents already. Um, that's also the reason why yung minimum natin to copy someone is $200. Right? Kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, yung minimum to invest in a stock is just $50. Pero bakit sa copy trading, $200 yung minimum? Uh, that's exactly the reason why. Um, kasi kung niliitan pa natin, kung let's say $10 lang yung minimum to copy somebody, and then 1% of that less than uh, less than $1 hindi siya mag execute so hindi siya magandang experience um, one also one other thing just very quickly just to let you know na rin since tinanong mo na rin um, whenever kung kinokopya ko ni Jan whenever i um, deposit money to my account sarili kong account uh, may um, magkakaroon ng notification rin si Jan so malalaman niya na si Jeff nagdeposit ng 20% additional 20% into his balance gusto mo rin ba mag-deposit ng additional 20% para sabay pa rin yung, uh, yung, yung percentage na yun. Parang ganun. So uh, if you have uh, more specific questions, feel free to send me an email. Uh, pwede rin naman kitang tulungan doon. Alright. Uh, we also... All clear. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, Melvin, for Thank for you for the good question. The question. Yeah. Sige. Uh, I actually have a question from a friend. <laughs> Sabi yes, niya go ahead, Aside reinvesting the money in stocks, what mm -hmm. other assets can we invest in? Oil, real estate, gold, what do you think? Uh, so that's it's pretty interesting kasi ang kailangan mong i-consider first of all is uh, the mark, um, current market conditions. Um, if you were to ask me this a few uh, maybe even last month Right, uh, my answer will be completely different uh, to today. Because uh, uh, again, it's very, very extraordinary markets. Uh, so, for example, we'll, we'll take gold. Right, uh, si gold. Pag tining na mo si gold, um, binibili lang siya in general. Binibili lang siya ng mga investors. Uh, ibig sabihin, binibili lang siya ng gold uh, tuwing crisis. Uh, kapag tulad tulad ngayon, whenever there's a crisis, uh, during 2008, and dami ring tao bumili ng gold. Uh, during uh, 1997 Asia financial crisis, um, marami ring bumibili ng gold. Kasi whenever there's a crisis, uh, gold is seen as a safe haven. Kung baga, yeah. kahit, kahit anong mangyari sa stocks, papel lang siya, right? But gold, meron akong actual gold. Right? So, um, during crisis, lahat ng tao bumibili sila ng gold. And when everybody buys gold, it causes the price of gold to, to, to go up. Meaning, go up. Dun ka, yeah, doon ka kikita. Right? But during normal conditions, pag, pag normal yung economy, uh, walang, wala masyadong buhibay ng gold. So it's, it's, to be honest, it's not a good investment kung hindi siya crisis uh, times. When it's crisis times, then uh, it might be a good investment. Right? Um, uh, bonds are, are a little bit different as well. Uh, kasi for bonds, you have to consider uh, how long ba yung bonds na binibili mo. Right? Is it a 30-year bond? Is it a 10-year bond? Is it a 1-year bond? Right? Um, so bonds are a little bit different, but something, for example, uh, meron yung, yung mga investment houses, meron silang tinatawag na um, all-weather um, investments. Meaning kahit, uh, kahit, nasisir, kahit bumabagsak yung markets, kahit umaakit yung markets, meron kang um, investment na pwede mong bilhin uh, that is safe uh, most of the time. Um, so some of these are, yung mga ganito naman, you can buy them as, a, as an ETF, uh, which is a completely different discussion, but it's called an ETF. And then yung laman ng ETF na yon iba't iba. So it may have some gold, it may have some uh, some good stocks, it may have some bonds, 
uh, halu halu siya. So that's something. Uh, it's actually, for example, it's not just at eToro. You can even go to your uh, sometimes. Uh, you can even go to other brokers, or you can sometimes some some banks even offer it. You can even go to your bank and and buy an ETF like that. So something like this. Mm. Uh, real estate is also very interesting because um, real estate normally uh, make, uh, considered as a good investment din siya kasi nga the assumption is mag appreciate siya. Um, what, what you have to consider in terms of real estate, and I think you would know more about this than me, Jan, um, what you need to consider about real estate also is yung current uh, conditions not just of the stock market but also the economy itself. Right? Um, <laughs> during 2008, that's exactly what caused the 2008 financial crisis. Na akala ng lahat ng tao akit lang na akit na akit yung 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 real estate. Eh. So bili lang sila ng bili, ut kumukuha sila ng utang para makabili ng bahay. Minsan pang limang bahay na nila, right? And then eventually hindi na sila makabayad ng ano nila ng uh, loan repayments nila, and then the prices just started falling down. Uh, but generally, yeah, it is seen yeah. as a safe investment. All right. So, ganun, ibang anong ibang angle rin niya, no? At your real estate <laughs> is 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 indeed a good one. And um, right now, for example, kung since ilan na ba tayo, 14 people here, when it comes to real estate kasi depende talaga yan sa development ng area, depende rin siya sa sa financial status mo, no? Because there are some there are some things that you can invest sa real estate na mura lang. Yun yung mga tinatawating rollouts. No? So, for those people, y- ang ibig sabihin ng rollouts is like, wala siyang bahay. It's wala, just literally patag talaga. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, patag talaga siya. Uh, meron ding iba na condos, which ang condos kasi, especially here in Davao City, mas mahal pa yung condo kaysa magkaroon ka ng housing lot mo. Alright? If you're in Manila naman, baliktad. Mas mahal yung magkaroon ka ng bahay awesome. compared Correct. to having a condo. So, si the same yung product which is condo pero magkaiba yung market condition based sa economy so kaya nga parang uh, some people are some like not some a lot of people are actually borrowing money from the bank so that they can invest in real estate and when they invest in real estate ang thinking kasi kaagad is mag appreciate yung value which is mm. true totoo yun magdepende lang talaga yan the, the hard thing about real estate is that it's not easy to liquidate kasi mahal siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng liquidate, kung baga, kung ibenta mo na siya, um, you're not really sure as to meron magbibili agad in cash if you need cash. Kaya nga, meron tayong makita na rush sale, rush, di ba? Para, ano, para mabilis mabenta. So, yun lang, when it comes to real estate, we currently have one invested um, so real estate, but it's just a land. And the reason why we did that, it's just for us to somehow see the value of it. Baga, mm. based on our understanding, based on our uh, ano study, it will eventually go up that price. Tapos yung yung bilili namin na real estate hindi siya ganon kamahal, All right? So maganda rin yung payment plan. Hindi naman siya kaya lump sum, pero cash flow wise kaya naman. Okay. So, magkaiba kasi yung may lump sum, may cash flow. But, sige lang. Going back to the stocks. Mamaya ng real estate. Kasi hindi ka makabili ng real estate sa ito. <laughs> okay. Although, you can, you can invest in ETFs that invest in real estates or REITs. Real estate. Kung narinig yun yung REITs, we also have it. But uh, that's another discussion. <laughs> um, uh, so, I think right. somebody also asked, um, what ito. is... Ito uh, to trade in PSE. Uh, so unfortunately, you can't. So um, hindi tayo nag-offer ng local stocks or PSE sa eToro. Uh, the main reason is because yung, um, uh, for example, right, uh, PSE companies are Ayala, uh, Jollibee, uh, Frutas very recently, uh, Manila Water, stuff like this. Um, so these companies sa, sa Pilipinas, malaki sila. Like, um, like everybody knows them. Very, very big sila in the Philippines. Uh, but if you compare them to global companies, um, hindi, siya gan- hindi, hindi pa rin siya ganun kalaki. And the important thing is, hindi ganun karami yung, as Jan mentioned, uh, hindi, siya, hindi ganun karami yung, ano, yung nagtitrade sa kanya. Meaning, for example, if, meron na, if, if in-offer namin yung, yung, yung uh, Philippine stocks, let's say Jollibee, uh, and you were to buy Jollibee at eToro, and then eventually gusto mo nang ibenta si Jollibee, 
um, there might not be enough people who want to um, take your or, or uh, buy Jollibee from you. Parang ganun. So that's called liquidity. Uh, so yun yung problema natin with local stocks. Kasi sa eToro, we have over, uh, over 11 million users now. Um, so you can imagine if etong 11 million users natin, for example, if uh, gusto nilang bilhin yung Jollibee, there might not even be enough shares. Um, and then orders would be uh, orders would not be very good, and the user experience would not be very good, right? Uh, mangyari dun is uh, larapit ako sa itoro. Gusto ko bilhin yung Jollibee, but hindi mo mabenta sa akin. Something like this. Um, the reason why we offer other stocks um, is because malalaki siya. So for example, right? Um, we offer US stocks, pero hindi lahat. Kasi meron kang tinatawag na penny stocks. Eh. Uh, literally cents lang. Bawat isang share ng company yun, cents lang siya. Uh, hindi natin sila you know, offer sa eToro kasi nga same problem right hindi sila big enough uh, so unfortunately no but what you can do is uh, hindi mo naman kasi kailangan uh, pumili eh. right what you can do is um, you can have a local broker whether it's uh, uh, you know BBO Nomura Call Financial First Metrosec BPI Trade uh, you can have a local broker and then meron ka rin, uh, foreign broker in eToro so for example if you have money uh, then you can split half of that for example uh, half of your uh, of the money that you want to invest, half of it, for example, in local stocks, half of it in, in US stocks, something like this. Yeah. Nice. So, kung gusto mo mag-trade or invest sa Philippine Stocks Exchange, Glenn, um, you can use First Metro Securities. You can also, um, natawag nito, Call Financial. And kung pwede rin BDO, meron din silang sariling brokerage thing nila. Mm. So personally, I use Call Financial and First Metro Security. Sa akin yun. But uh, depende lang talaga sa iyo kung, ano, kung anong mas preferred sa iyo. Okay? So hopefully, na-answer yung question. And eto, from Melvin again, what's the difference between eToro and X-Critical? I haven't heard of X-Critical yet. Yeah, Maybe you it, know, Jeff? Uh, I've never heard of it. Uh, pero tinignan ko yung website nila. It seems like they're a platform. Um, and also a crypto exchange. Um, so, so for example, uh, here, uh, I think, um, so X-Critical, uh, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, I don't know if they're a broker or not, um, pero meron silang crypto exchange. Um, what crypto exchange means is, um, ang tinitrade mo, again, pwede ka rin mag-buy and sell, pero ang tinitrade mo doon is crypto, specifically. Um, they might have a lot of Bitcoin. different crypto there. Yeah, so Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, ganun. Um, so it, that's basically crypto. Sa amin sa eToro, we also offer crypto, um, pero hindi ganun kadami. Again, like I think nasa mga 20-something uh, yung offering namin for crypto, not everything. Again, same problem with liquidity. Um, but the, the, one of the main differences, if assuming X-Critical is a crypto exchange, is sa kanila, crypto lang yung offer nila. Sa amin sa eToro, you have, if, if for example, Right now, stocks aren't good. If you believe stocks aren't good, then you can invest in gold. If you believe gold is not good, then you can invest in Bitcoin. If you don't like Bitcoin, you can invest in uh, Forex uh, and eToro. So basically, uh, all in one platform siya, kumbaga. Um, but to be honest, hindi ako yeah. familiar sa X-Critical. Yeah, I haven't heard of X-Critical in Melvin, but thank you for introducing this. Uh, maybe we can do some research about it as well. Ako, my personal question ako, like, uh, I'm not sure kung, you know, like, so ganito, uh, sa Forex kasi guys, meron tayong tinatawag na liquidity, liquidity provider. Okay? Hmm. So, ibig sabihin, like, when you buy or when you sell automatic, meron talagang kukuha, parang automatic may system na, na whatever is it, whatever yung price na, na trade mo, hindi ka na maghihintay ng isang tao na bibili nung binibenta mo. So, that's like Forex. And um, meron din bang ganon sa international stocks? Like liquidity yes. provider, is it the same like you have to wait for someone to buy your... Yes, so actually sa eToro, um, we actually uh, have liquidity providers as well. Actually, sakto, saktong sakto yung term mo, we call them liquidity providers. Um, meaning, mm -hmm. ang ginagawa kasi namin sa eToro is, um, same as what you mentioned, let's say meron akong Facebook stock right now, binili ko siya one week ago, gusto ko na siyang ibenta ngayon. Um, no, the normal process for other um, open book uh, exchanges is kailangan mo nga maghintay ng tao na bibili niyan. Same as, same as uh, sa Philippine uh, stock market as well. Right? Kung gusto mo ibenta yung, face, yung, yung shares mo, kailangan may ibang taong 
uh, gustong bilhin naman yun from you. Um, mm. That's mm. what the liquidity providers do. So sa eToro, we also have our own liquidity providers. And yung price na nakita nyo sa eToro, actually galing siya sa liquidity providers namin. Um, and then of course again may maliit tayo na patong doon um, the the key qu the key thing there is um, uh, hindi kami yung in in some cases depende sa uh, assets kung ano siya kung very very illiquid siya kung konti liquidity provider lang talaga yung nag-offer noon uh, we may take we may take it from you kumbaga kami na lang yung liquidity provider um, but that's very very rare kasi normally again kaya rin namin ino-offer yung um, very big stocks uh, para merong a liquidity provider kasi the same uh, which ties into Glenn's question actually for example if we were to offer Jollibee stocks at eToro si Jan bumili ng Jollibee tapos eventually gusto niya nang ibenta yung Jollibee shares niya um, walang liquidity provider si eToro yung mapipilitan um, bilhin yung Jollibee uh, from Jan right and then imagine that's just Jan one person you have a lot of different people wanting to trade Right, so that's where it uh, gets a bit difficult. So yes, correct. Meron din kami liquidity providers. Um, nice, nice. Melvin has a very Hello? good question also. Meron ba tayong documentations or video tutorials? Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> Meron, uh, we, we actually recently launched, yeah, there's quite a lot. Uh, we actually recently launched a um, very short tutorial playlist on YouTube. Um, I can actually just, uh, you can actually just search eToro Asia. Sa, sa YouTube, tapos punta ka sa playlist niya, may kita mo doon, may isang playlist doon na Philippines, yung iba Vietnamese, uh, Thailand, uh, something like this, pero may Philippines doon. So, hindi nyo ako may kita doon. Si Iris, uh, my, my other colleague will be the one to host that one. So, ano siya? Uh, it teaches you, for example, how to fund your account, how to verify your account, how to open a trade, like what we did a while ago, how to copy somebody, what is copy trading. Uh, so, lahat yun nandun. Search nyo lang eToro Asia sa YouTube. Nice. Right. Tapos, how much po ang minimum investment and how do I fund my account? Oh, how much very good I'm charged, if any? If any From correct. Azul Profundo. Good question. Thank you for asking. So, um, ang minimum investment natin sa eToro is, um, so what, uh, like what we talked about, right? Ang minimum investment to invest in one stock is just $50. Um, pero kung first time mo mag-deposit sa eToro account mo, uh, minimum natin is 200. So um, it's very simple. Mer um, kapag gumawa ka ng eToro account, may kita mo, meron kang balance. Um, obviously, pag bago lang account mo, zero pa yung balance mo kasi hindi ka pa nagde-deposit. Um, so the minimum to deposit, first time, kung first time mo mag-deposit sa inyong eToro balance, it's $200. So roughly 10,000 pesos. Uh, once meron ka ng $200 sa balance mo, uh, pwede mo na yung gamitin pambili sa, pambili ng stocks. Uh, and then itong 200 mo, kung bibilihin mo siya sa stock, tig 50 each, then you can buy four different uh, stocks with your $200 na first investment. Um, yeah. How do so, you, how do you minimum fund natin is $200. Correct. $200 is the minimum. How do you fund your account? Um, it's very, very good. I'm, I'm actually very, very proud whenever people ask me this. Kasi yun nagsimula um, kami roughly, yun nagsimula ko sa eToro. Um, ang ino-offer lang natin for the Philippines is uh, credit debit card. So, for example, BDO, BDO debit card. Yung ginagamit ko sa ATM, pwede yun. Uh, uh, BDO, Metro Bank, you know, Union Bank. Basically, basa Visa or MasterCard siya, pwede yun siyang gamitin. Uh, just take note of your minimum lang. Kasi, di ba, uh, I believe for BDO, 20 to 25,000 pesos lang yung maximum mo per day na pwede mong withdraw so that's 300 to 400 dollars so kung sinusubukan mo let's say 1000 dollars using your BDO debit card it won't work uh, so just something to take note of but the one thing that we added which i'm very very happy about is yung local online banking option namin uh, through dragon pay so kung meron kang BDO online BPI online uh, union bank land bank metro bank online all of these uh, ino offer natin siya Meaning, um, and through Dragon Pay, meaning mangyari is magbabayad ka ng pera to Dragon Pay, let's say, I don't know, 15,000, ibabayad mo, ito transfer mo from your online account to Dragon Pay, and then generally 15, 15 minutes, 5 to 15 minutes later, uh, magre-reflect na siya sa inyong eToro na account. Parang ganun lang siya. So very, very convenient. And how much is the charge? Uh, it depends on your method. So like what you mentioned, kung credit, debit card ginamit mo, um, wala, wala kaming fee kami sa eToro wala kaming charge 
um, yung gastos mo dito is yung conversion. Kasi susundin mo yung rate ng banko mo. Um, for Dragon Pay, it depends on your bank. So if you use BDO online, it's completely free. If let's say you use BPI online, it's just 15 pesos per transaction. Uh, hindi siya napupunta sa amin, napupunta siya kay, uh, kay Dragon Pay. Basically, service fee ni Dragon Pay yun. Uh, but generally, hindi naman ganun kalaki yung uh, mga fees if ever meron. Uh, PayPal also we accept. Uh, Payoneer, I don't think we do. PayPal we accept also. Yeah. All right. So, so wow. Ganda na mga tanong, ah. Sir Jeff, yeah, can actually. I copy your profile from you <laughs> sa Bansenia? Unfortunately, you can't. Uh, so I can quickly show everybody my profile very actually here. But at least, again, we're very, very transparent, right? Um, that's really one of the things that eToro prides itself upon is uh, how transparent we are. So just to let you know, so ito yung watch list ko. Um, I, I'm on my real account. Uh, if you go to my um, portfolio, uh, so you just click this. Unfortunately, hindi mo ko makukopya. Kasi di ba normally may feed ka, may stats, may... Uh, my, my, um, my copy. So you can't, uh, since uh, employee ako ng eToro, um, you can't copy me, but you can look at my feed. So generally, I, I post my, uh, I share my um, trades. So for example, a few days ago, uh, nalugi ako sa Boeing. Um, I, I opened, I bought AMD. Um, kumita ako sa, uh, sa UK index. Uh, nalugi ako sa Boeing. Uh, kumita ako sa Delta Air, something like this. So, uh, pwede mo actually, search mo lang Jeff Guo, may kita mo ako doon. Uh, I think you can even, um, I think you can even go to, uh, if I show you very quickly, uh, ito yung virt uh, test account ko for the Philippines. Um, so, yeah, you can search for Jeff Guo. Uh, lalabas naman siya doon. And then, yun, ito yung, uh, ito yung profile ko. Although you can't copy me, uh, again, because I'm an employee, pero may kita mo lahat ng mga feed ko there so yeah good question unfortunately you can't sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right meron pa ba um parang meron pa hmm. okay ganda to pwede po ba makasayang na lang naputo yung mo? facebook live so, yeah sa gitna um but i think we can upload it um yeah pwede to, naman yeah yung recording uh, somebody asked Gcash. Yes, you can use Gcash. Although uh, Gcash Mastercard, because there um, may yung virtual card kasi ng Gcash. Ano siya? Um, Amex, American Express siya. Hindi siya Visa or Master. Uh, so kailangan mong uh, kunin sa Globe or bilhin yata sa Globe yung um, yung Mastercard niya, yung Gcash Mastercard. Once you have that, pwede niyo siyang gamitin. Yeah. Um, don't look at my portfolio like everybody else. Nalulugi ako. I think nakita nyo na kanina because of the, um, I have quite a bit of my portfolio stuck because of the markets. Um, nobody was safe actually. I think I'm still sharing my screen. So if you look at it, um, uh, Warren Buffett portfolio, meron ako nakita isang article very recently um, with regards to Warren Buffett. Um, here, this one from Market Watch. So this one is very interesting because um, he's basically saying, "Nalulugi ka ba sa market? Don't feel too bad, because Warren Buffett is the same." So pag tining na mo siya, uh, ito yung um, portfolio niya. So uh, I think I told you about this uh, just a while ago, Jan. Si Warren Buffett, yung Berkshire Hathaway na company niya, the biggest uh, holding nila is Apple, 35% ng pera nila Apple, nakalagay sa Apple. Yeah. yeah, it's down. So if you look at it, everything is in the red. So uh, you know, on average, on average, kasi yung lugi ng US stock markets at you know uh, a few days ago was uh, thirty something percent. That's why I keep saying it's at it's at basically at a thirty percent discount. So si Warren Buffett in on average thirty something percent the yung lugi niya. So yeah, a lot of traders right now are not doing too well. Um, the good thing with Warren Buffett is, and dito mo may kita yung ano eh, yung um, you know, why the rich investors make a lot of money during uh, market crashes. Because although nalulugi si Warren Buffett ngayon, madami pa siyang extra reserve na cash. Meaning, pwede niyang bilhin lahat with his cash right now, pwede niyang bilhin lahat ng mga murang stocks. Pag bumawi sila, then malaki yung kikitain niya doon. Um, so, good for Warren Buffett. <laughs> yeah. Ang, ang style kasi ni Warren Buffett, guys, just for you to know, it's more about value investing. So, ibig sabihin nun is like, they, they, he really, 
he really checks and study the company as a whole and sometimes kay hindi niya wala masyad, wala nga daw siya masyadong pakialam pagdating naman sa stock price niya ngayon kasi it's in study niya yung cash flow in study niya yung pe ratio yung business na itself like when can it be 5 years 10 years 15 years from now tapos doon like um, he studies the business as a whole and make a and makes a decision afterwards you know? so um sa ang ang usual kasi na marinig natin is yung mga technical analysis ito yung mga candlesticks you no know? like hala umaakyat is it time to buy hala is it time to sell ganun na mga bagay um, so, parang kay Warren Buffett talaga is very long term, very long term um, ano niya, style. Yeah, and so, the yeah. very interesting, uh, just to add to that, the very one of the very interesting things that Warren Buffett invests in also is people. So specifically, uh, sinasabi ni Warren Buffett um, that uh, he he invests in people. So whenever tinitingnan yung company, meron siyang iilang, same as same as any investor, meron kang certain things na kailangan nagbimit. Uh, you know, uh, maganda ba yung cash flows niya, like what John mentioned, um, reasonable ba yung price, o hindi ba siya overpriced, hindi ba siya, um, you know, overvalued. And one of the key things there is yung management ng company mismo. Yung mga managers yep. niya, yung mga tao ba ng company is, uh, are good people, good in the sense na alam ba nila ginagawa nila, uh, hindi ba sila yung tipo ng dadaya, something like this. That's one thing that Warren Buffett is actually very, very known for. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, mga ganun na mga companies. Correct. James, can you recommend books you think can help traders? Um, for me, personally, um, there's a pretty interesting book um, that I've uh, read a little bit about. Uh, hindi, hindi pa siya, hindi ko pa siya natatapos. Actually, it's uh, the book written by Warren Buffett. Now, now that we talk about it, uh, Warren Buffett's mentor. Um, I forgot what Benjamin. it was called. Benjamin? Ah, yeah, yeah, correct. Benjamin, see si Benjamin, correct. Um, he had this yeah. book. It's it was written way, 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 way back. It's about value investing mismo. Um, the only problem with it is like yung yung fundamentals niya are there. The only problem with that book is um, lumang luma na siya. So um, if, uh, personally, if you want to go over it, I think you should. Um, pero just take it's note. It's also of my very technical. Niya. Ah, really? <laughs> Um, I yeah. read just the foreword <laughs> of it so far. Although, um, for me personally, um, if there's one book that you would like to read about in the financial markets, um, you can try um, Too Big to Fail. So I can type it here. Um, not exactly about investing, Sha, um, but it's a very interesting book. I think any, anybody can actually read it as well. Uh, Too Big to Fail. Oh, sorry. I sent it to Melvin privately. Uh, Too Big to Fail. It's written by an Andrew Ross uh, Sorkin. Ano siya, about the big banks during the financial crisis. So if you if you ask me about the 2008 financial crisis, my eyes light up. Uh, I'm actually very interested in it in a sense that did you know that um, uh, during the financial crisis, um, the banks, yung, yung mga banks like uh, Merrill Lynch, JP Morgan, um, um, Goldman Sachs, they paid their executives uh, $142 million in bonuses. So um, you imagine, right? Americans were losing their homes. Um, all of these, uh, you know, Americans were losing their jobs, their homes, businesses were closing down. Um, but the big executives were paid um, $142 million in total in terms of bonuses. So uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, uh, sorry, went off topic there. Wow. Wow. Okay. See, so... So I think so far we've answered everything. Yeah, every, all of the questions. So yeah, um, let me just go back to my um, slide just to really show everybody that just in case you have a question, um, please feel free to send me an email, uh, Jeff at Itoro .com. Um, If you, you feel free to also send it to Jan. Um, pwede rin naman i-forward ni Jan sa akin yung mga tanong niyo about Itoro. Um, but you can also send me an email so I can help you, especially with your accounts. Oh, okay. So now that we're here, before we go, uh, just to let everybody know, um, this is your, this is how you get to your virtual account. So uh, kapag nag in ka na, um, just look for your username and then this button right here, there's your real, there's your virtual account. So my confirmation siya. And then uh, once you're in the virtual, punta ka sa portfolio mo to check. 
and then may kita mo yung um, 100,000 dapat chan. So I'm making a lot of money uh, in my virtual account. In the virtual account. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so actually, you know, I use this for testing. So when, 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 when um, I have questions, uh, when I have calls with clients, I want to show them how it works. Uh, I always just use my virtual. But yeah, may kita mo dyan, uh, my virtual equity ka. Uh, and you know it's very it's, it's very simple same as what we did right you click trade markets uh, now that we're here anyways uh, you trip trade markets there's microsoft right it went away um, but let's say there's a lot of uh, companies here let's say um, let's say tilray whatever this is uh, i think my internet here in the office is a bit slow um, but it's basically the same thing you click it and then you click trade i think major mabaga lang siya sa ngayon um, but yeah, so here you click trade uh, and then, you know, whatever amount, let's say $50. Oh, sorry, for, uh, don't, uh, wag nyo to pansinin, sa, if, since employee account yung sa akin, uh, $500 yung minimum ko. I think we can go to my uh, virtual account instead. Here, so sa virtual account natin, and we just, again, we go to uh, virtual portfolio. Um, I've actually, I actually have my watch list, for example, if it's food. Uh, if you want to invest in McDonald's, for example, um, let's say $50. So you can't go lower than 50, your minimum. Niya. And then leverage is a whole different discussion, but let's just set it to one. Then you always look at your fees, my overnight fee bajo, so it's zero. And then I just set order. So um, when you go to your portfolio, um, may kita mo siya right here, McDonald's. So yun, $50 in McDonald's and all of these other sample trades. Uh, kung gusto mo na siyang ibenta, let's say Tesla, kumita na ako, gusto mo na siyang ibenta, I can either click this and then just click X and then if there's a confirmation, 500 in invest mo, kumita ka na ng 240 uh, and then close trade. And then mawala na siya, may kita mo, pumunta na yung pera dito sa balance mo. It's, it's really that simple actually. Um, so yeah, I encourage you guys to try it. Nanjan lang siya, real virtual, go to your virtual account, my 100,000 kana in your virtual balance. And then if you ever have any questions, uh, just let me know. Just send me an email uh, para matulungan ko rin kayo. Alright? Sige. Sige guys. So, parang wow, two hours na pala tayo na gano'n. Yeah. Hindi ko napansin yun. Um, very fun. <laughs> so, paano ba? Um, thank you so much guys for joining us and I know one thing that I like about eToro talaga is the well the friendly or user friendly masyado ang kanilang tool no para para ka lang ng Facebook talaga <laughs> tapos uh, currently just to give you an, an update yung aking virtual no virtual na na account lugi ako ng 1100 dollars <laughs> that's uh, that's normal that's normal because of the market yeah. to be honest so, ganun lang. At least, ano ba, uh, just try it out. It's for free anyway. Just create an account. At least, meron na kayo. And if you feel like na prepared na kayo to do the actual thing, then you can just fund your account. Pero for, for starters, just practice. Just play around with the tool. Total, demo account lang naman din yan. Diba? Ganun, ganun ang ginagawa ko rin ngayon. Okay? Yeah. So, so wala Jeff, expiry. thank you, you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, Jan, and everybody for joining us. Um, it's it's been very very productive. Whenever I do webinars like this, uh, parate ako nage enjoy, just because I really get to answer people's questions. Like ano ba talaga yung tinatarong yung about itoro? Ano ba yung gusto yung malaman? Uh, so I'm very very happy to have joined. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's really really been a pleasure. Uh, for any questions, again, send me an email. Play around with your virtual account. Um, and then don't worry, wala siyang expiry. Hindi namin kayo kukulitin to fund your account. It's completely free. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank okay, you for okay, the guys. session. See you next All time. Right. Thanks, Jeff.